everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. Ah, uh, the only podcast with me, the best guy ever, and nobody else. Uh, I'm the, 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 hey, the, the best guy ever. Welcome to the Procrastinators Podcast with the best guy ever. Yeah, I'd say Munchie's here. What's up, Munchie? Um, um, hey, hey everyone, say, what's oh, going shit. on in here? It's I just came guy, in but... off the street where I slept last night. How's it oh, hanging? Oh my <laughs> god. That uh, madman, that How trickster scary. god Ben Saint is here. Uh, we've got Monkey Jones. Hey everybody, I like video games. Boo! That's also, Tom Oliver. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic <laughs> Saturday. Welcome back Whoa. to the Tommy Oliver Show, and let's just jump into it. Tom, Holy these come shit. out on Sundays, not Saturdays. You already fucked it. It's a Saturday when I'm recording it, and that's yeah. the only day that I care about. That's true. That's true. Okay. We're men who All live right. in the day and the here and now. We don't live yeah, in the future. I live in the present. I don't, I don't concern myself with yeah. petty things like the future. <laughs> yeah, fuck that so, thing. So if you remember way back to episode one of the Procrastinators podcast, we talked about the best game ever, undisputedly Undertale, <laughs> as we all agree. <laughs> and uh, it's time to revisit that issue by talking about the greatest game console of all time. We're talking consoles, people. Of all of all makes, models, and builds, mm -hmm. uh, and let's mm -hmm. let's check in with our friends over at Urban Dictionary to read what a console is. Um, okay, actually, these definitions are terrible. These people like are not my friends. I just want a disclaimer that I do not associate with them. Oh, with yes, Urban good. Dictionary. Yeah. Oh, here they we are go. They're my enemies. Mm -hmm. Console definition number two on Urban Dictionary. A computer intended for limited user interaction, <laughs> such as the NES <laughs> or the PlayStation. Such computers are intended only for loading single programs in one session, although newer consoles are able to perform such feats as getting on the internet, networking between other consoles of the same type, and Boring. even running various operating systems compiled for I'm a fucking nerd, even titles. I hate this guy. Holy shit. Common input devices for consoles include controllers, also called Ugh. paddles sometimes, oh my joysticks, God. or arcade pads. Who calls a controller? Controller a paddle. What is that? Okay, it doesn't matter. Whoever wrote this, aka a retard. Maybe this the same guy, people that call levels own. boards. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a real thing? Like yeah. in video Dude, games? Yeah, yeah Danny, so Danny on Game Grumps yes. would always call it a, a... He would get a free man and he would clear the board. <laughs> I mean, I love the free man thing, but I've never heard this uh, board. Dude, when I would play fucking Brawl with my cousin, he would be like, Oh, dude, oh, dude I love this map. I love this fucking map. It's a stage! <laughs> that, uh, you know, the I've map I'm a little bit more sympathetic. Map, no, the game specifically calls it a stage. Yeah. Yeah. It says, yeah. choose your stage. Oh, I love this map. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, why, why don't you just get reamed in the middle of an IHOP? Like, you do want to be ready in your mind. I know you want to. Okay, fair point. Fair point. Now, uh, to start us off, now, we this whole topic was suggested by our dear friend Tom Oliver, rest in peace, who suggested <laughs> that we discuss the greatest... Has he uh, killed he himself suggest... since we recorded this? <laughs> I, I, I I'm always thinking ago. about it, man. You never know. <laughs> Check out uh, Mumkey and Tom's Suicide Pact uh, video or <laughs> yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, that's what it's uh, called. <laughs> so <laughs> so that'll, today, that'll be the last episode. We'll be called that. <laughs> yeah. Right, of course. So Tom was just talking about how great the GBA was, and I believe that takes his spot for the greatest game console of all time. Indeed. It's a tough battle. And you know, a lot of people, Tom. Oh, sorry. Go on. Go on. I, that's all I was going to say. It's a tough battle, but GBA mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. number one in my book. Now, I'm sure a lot of people, when they hear you say that, would immediately jump to the fact that, but... But Tommy, it can't even play fucking Halo while I'm downloading teraflops of child porn at the same time, like my PS4. What is your defense of this position? It can it's play a weak serious Sam. baby shit console. Look, can, there's, is there Serious Sam on the? Yeah, there's yeah. Serious Sam on the GBA, dude. Of course. Dude, there's a, actually quite a few shit. 3D games on the GBA. Yeah. Surprisingly uh -huh. enough, um, but no, I mean the problem is like. The new, the new consoles, the kids these days with their mm -hmm. fucking multimedia consoles, consoles have like jumped the plot and forgotten what the point is, is playing fucking games, all right? Mm -hmm. PS4 mm -hmm. had all these goddamn channels you could watch YouTube on it, but how long could you only play Bloodborne and nothing else? It's fucking bullshit. Long time. The long GBA time. launched with a fucking kick-ass lineup of games and it only got better. And that's what these, I feel like everybody here is, is not retarded when it comes to gaming consoles. So I feel like mm -hmm. even though I'm sure some of you won't agree that GBA is the best console i'm pretty sure none of you are gonna have retarded choices like the ps4 or some gay shit like that <laughs> that's gonna be, be about that's gonna be, be about consoles that play games and don't anything, do much else anything past me, the ps2 like i how like they don't even have identities anymore okay, like let past me just that say, era they just they just became like a weird conglomerate of of one of the worst experiences uh, yeah. spirits <laughs> one of the worst experiences 
uh, of my gaming life was when I bought Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, I, I got the PlayStation 3 bundle with Metal Gear Solid 4. It was great. I plug it in, and then as I'm starting it up, like the it, it's like legendary, the setup time for oh. Metal Gear Solid 4. It was like the first moment when it's like, okay, things have gone Next terribly, here, terribly wrong at some point. Like the And this is like the point I'm trying to make in general. The, the big consoles, like the, the load times. I'm thinking about Bloodborne, for example. So I, I played Bloodborne right when it came out, like midnight release. It was fucking great. Um, and uh, like that was before they had patched the little, um, you know, like the, the loading screens in all the Dark Souls games, how they'll show like an item and a description of a, of a certain item uh, in, in most of the of the uh, what Dark Demon Blood games. Yep, um, yep, yep. So that Bloodborne, when it first came out, didn't even have that. It just, for the loading screens, would just have the word Bloodborne and nothing else. And, of course, in that game, like, you do a ton of traveling Disgusting. back to your home base. I know. It was it was absolutely unbelievable. I, like, the whole time I was screaming about why they didn't have this, uh, this thing from the others, which was just, it was kind of fun to read the description of items while you waited for things to load in, in you know, Dark Souls 1, 2, and whatever, the ones that were out at the time. But this didn't have that. It fucking sucked. But the, so there was my point is just like there's so much fucking loading that you have to suffer through to play these like ooh cutting edge so beautiful amazing games. But on like the GBA and shit, there was so much less of that stuff because they really prioritized gameplay, and right. that is just something that's really been sacrificed. Well, well in that a was terrible. Well, way. well, hang on, hang. Well, that was GBA was mm-hmm. a cartridge console, and cartridges like didn't even have loading times. Mm-hmm. Right. Not, not I mean, the way there, it's there, there that's couple, my point. There were a couple games on GBA that had loading, and there's mostly the 3D ones, but there was only like a couple seconds. Uh, but no, it's but just... see, that's my point, Ben. The, the, the fact that we're so obsessed with creating these big old experiences where you have to load in like a gigantic map and process all this data at once. I feel like, like we're going to I'm going to get mm-hmm. triggered and talk about my realism rant in games and how it's like the most cancerous thing ever made by mankind. It's inevitable. <laughs> it's Do related it. To this I want to hear way. it. It's so it's so fucking dumb. Like I'd like honestly, because you're you're saying how like oh everything after PS2 doesn't have an identity. It's Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. this realism curse became a thing. Like how fucking sad is it that like in the PS2 you had like uh, you know Naughty Dog and uh, Insomniac doing like Ratchet and Clank Mm -hmm, and Jack mm -hmm. and Daxter, and then the next like console cycle came along. It's like oh look all these polys we can throw around. We're gonna make Uncharted and fucking Resistance, which are like yeah, bland yeah. fucking gay games that have no personality. So, it's like the 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 the, the, the kind of like snapshot like little zinger sentence I would say is like make art, don't make a tech demo. Because when you make a realistic mm-hmm. game, no matter how mm-hmm. good it is, all you're making is a snapshot of the technical limitations of the time. It ages terribly. It never looks cool. But on the other hand, like like here's a perfect example of like this shit when it started happening in like the ps2 era because like ps2 Mm -hmm. and xbox the originals is when they started kind of like oh we can make games that look like super fucking real maybe we should do that like do you remember lord of the rings that came out on Mm ps2 they're fucking dumb little gimmick where they're like we're gonna have fmvs in the movie and then they're gonna quote i can't put enough quotations around this so Mm -hmm. i'm gonna try (laughs) seamlessly transfer to (laughs) gameplay and at the time everyone was like whoa it looks so good but you look at it now it looks like ass like it's a joke it's like are you serious it looks like someone like with down syndrome maybe's models because like it's impossible Mm -hmm. to make realistic models on the ps2 whereas a game that came out in like the exact same time i think the same year uh the legend of zelda um fucking wind waker twilight princess oh yeah yeah. wind waker right that had art direction so like yeah. that game is just as yeah, old yeah. but it looks gorgeous today just that's, like the, that's gorgeous the when it came out you're not, so right about that. not only does it not does photorealism not age well because the technology is not there to achieve true photorealism so as we like get mm-hmm. closer and closer like the old stuff will just look worse and worse like not only that but like photorealism is just a poor it's just a poor like artistic inspiration to work yes, from it's, yes. it's just a bad thing to work right. towards because because that everyone like everyone's trying to make it look realistic that they're all trying to make it look the same like what makes a game look good is not it's the graphical fidelity but yeah like you said the art direction like right. good art like, direction like, like, is what makes a game like, look good and look cool something modern now like bloodborne like it looks good like it looks aesthetically pleasing despite mm-hmm. the photorealism it shoots for not because of it like it's the art direction yeah. that carries a game like that and yeah. all the good games that are out right now like like and I, it's you're going to be fighting against the realism as a 
goes on. Because like when the PS5 comes out, like the art direction of Bloodborne yeah, still yeah. holds up. But man, those visuals, like that cloth simulation, we still couldn't re do real time <laughs> cloth sim. It looks really fucking stupid now. So it's just like you're always gonna have something like that, and it's really. I didn't dumb. mean to shit on Bloodborne, incidentally. Like I wasn't trying to say in any way that like, it's it's too obsessed with photorealism. Actually, I think that's one of the brilliant things about Bloodborne. It's sort of like it, it, it's it is going for a little bit of photorealism in that just like the things are obviously human shaped and they you know act sort of the way humans do like your playable characters and stuff but like the the what what makes that game great is like the the cool environments around and stuff and like so i'm, I'm just saying like the art design of bloodborne is actually great right. because it does all the stuff in addition to just having sort of a, a baseline level of realism but like your just call like, okay, of duties you and your battlefields this. they're never going to yeah. look they, they weren't inspired to begin with like the, the reason they were impressive is like whoa this is pushing the hardware but as the yeah. hardware ages yeah. like like you play battle like remember when battlefield 3 came out everyone was like holy fucking shit like you play Battlefield Three now, it looks embarrassing. <laughs> I remember a string of uh, first-person shooters coming out that people were very impressed with for reasons I don't understand. Yes, I do remember that. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was, it was dumb. It was stupid, and, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, it's. I also feel like there's definitely a business side to this because, like, by by making photorealism yeah. like the thing, like, because we know, like, for some reason, everyone in America who isn't like a fucking nerd is just like cartoons and stylized things are gay. I have to have it look yep. real. So that's what mm -hmm. opened up gaming to a wider demographic and caused this massive what commercialism in the first place. <laughs> But on top you're of right, that, dude. you're you're also basically L low, set low barrier to entry, no taste required. Right, exactly. Perfect, perfect. And then on top of that, you've also set up this cycle that will never break of like we need to make games more real. So every couple years, you're gonna buy a new console to get better you're visuals. So right. Where you're like so right. honestly. If you just cared about art style, like look at Wind Waker, you could still make b beautiful games using PS2 quality hardware. Because like there are indie mm -hmm. devs right now who make games that are look gorgeous but are super low end, so one person and of course, can make it. All, all like the uh, the equipment manufacturers, all like the CPU guys, like they love this because this is excuses to like force people to buy the new shit that comes out that cranks out that little bit more. Juice I think that the they most need. disgusting thing now is that we have the Xbox One X and the PS because like they're not even new consoles; they're just the like Scorpio. we're yeah. just now. They can run at the frame rate that PC's been running for the last 10 years, Lamau. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so fucking dumb. And people just eat it up. Like, I was really hoping that the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro would flop and like they'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. I guess people aren't that retarded, but they're selling great. So it's just You know like, what it is? I you know quit. what this is, Tom? This is a, this is what, exactly what Ben was saying. This is the normie influx into the it environment. Is. In Normies that, ruin these are people, games. They I'm do. Not, they ruin everything. This I'm, is people not looking for the best artistic or or game experience. Like, all of us are fucking veterans. We know what makes a good game because we've been there for decades. We've been experiencing this. We know what makes a game good. These people don't know shit, so they latch onto the most obvious thing they can find that to them, quote unquote, makes a game good, and it's how pretty it is, how how life... And it's not even that, like, they understand what a good art style looks like. It's that it looks the most yeah. true to life, therefore it's the best. Oh, it's infuriating. These people don't know shit. <laughs> Normies, get the fuck out! <laughs> uh, not that's, only... That's my point. Point. better myself. Not fuck only Normies, they ruin everything. <laughs> graphics just look bad they are just not pleasant to look at because they always look yeah. ugly regardless of anything ever it also just <laughs> harms the game okay the only thing mm -hmm. the only thing i care about in games is is this if the aesthetic matches the gameplay and vice versa that's the only thing i care sure. about i don't sure. even care about the, if the game is good uh i i, I was red pilled <laughs> okay. on this I, I i became like this after like like listening to the developer commentaries and like tf2 like like if you go to tf2 you mm -hmm. can like go like watch like some commentaries like in game and they talked about how how okay. uh, in TF2 it was really just gonna be this fucking like like uh, you know super realistic hyper you know hy hyper realistic blood splatter all over mm, your screen mm. uh, you know tails doll behind you uh, don't look out for bin drowned you know like that uh, okay uh, but but then uh, like they're like this makes no sense because if we're going to make a good game you know the the no real people are going to build bases like twenty feet from another from one another so this is going to make right, no right. sense like like if if we do this in like you know with realistic graphics it's going to look fucking retarded and if we want to make it look <laughs> yeah. good then we're going to have to like make the game shit and boring so they're yeah. like and, yeah. and there are a ton of like areas where like. You know, a map can't be huge. It has to be, you know, a map that's designed well. So there'll be mm -hmm. plenty of streets and stuff and corridors you couldn't technically go through. Though it looked like you could in a realistic setting. Uh, you know, if there's like a fence that's like maybe one foot high uh, and they don't want to, you know, completely just wall it off, then people would be I like, why, why, why can't why can't we get over this? So then like, well, why don't we just fucking um, just make them all uh, cartoon characters? And not just cartoon characters. Cartoon characters that benefit the gameplay. Because the game, the TF2, 
mm-hmm. gameplay is all about mm-hmm. just fucking being an insane lunatic and fucking killing people <laughs> and and like and like wartime bullshit and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. So they took inspiration from like wartime posters of the fucking like nineteen forties and shit. So they got all that. Mm-hmm. They got a sec that matched the gameplay and complemented it, and they got to fix the gameplay too. It it, it was a beautiful marriage. Yeah, and, and that's, like the, that's the what aesthetic. Makes it, yeah. The yeah. aesthetic totally works in the sense of like gameplay, because like like the whole idea about like the spy just like wearing a mask yeah. of the thing that he's disguised as, like that's great, and that works from a gameplay perspective and an aesthetic art style sense. Mm-hmm. It's yep. it's a perfect it's blend. Perfect. That's, yeah. I mean that's that's just what makes that's what makes a good work of art of any medium is just that all the yeah. elements all the elements complement each other and become a Get beautiful that marriage. Mm-hmm. Yep, that Gesamt mm-hmm. Kunstwerk, mm-hmm. my dog. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and games yeah, are uh, no exception. Is Nintendo the only company that hasn't like been cucked and tries to go for realism all the time? Hmm, it seems that they're, way. They're one of the few. They're definitely the biggest one who's like fought off the temptation. I think most of it was even just because like out of necessity, because like they gave up trying to like do the highest spec hardware a while ago, so they have to rely on art style to actually. Well, well, they, they, had, well they had the, the lowest. Wii U, they had, I thought they the had Wii the U lowest... flopped, right? And yeah. Isn't the problem with the yeah. Wii that they, they focused yeah. more on making the games all HD rather than like making fun games? Yeah, I was I was just about to say uh, that, Monkey. Uh, while they didn't make realistic games, they still like. If you look at the cutscenes for Smash Four, they look fucking like oh Mario's individual hairs are fucking rendered. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't care. Good. I don't care. And, I, mean, yeah. I mean, Nintendo had Nintendo had lower hardware, uh, you know, uh, uh, power or whatever with its consoles. Right. But they also they also had that guiding that guiding Shigeru Miyamoto and um, oh god, who's the Earthbound guy? Who's the Earthbound guy who just uh, died? Yeah, they had they had. They had, they had, they had, they had they had those guys like the tone like the tone at the top of that company was like games should be fun right yeah so yeah. i feel i feel like that probably went away towards keeping them out of this this fucking ghetto that we're all in of mm-hmm. photorealism my favorite thing about miyamoto is how he ruined paper mario i really love that guy thank you for making games <laughs> oh, that's it's disgusting i think the good thing about nintendo is that they recognize their limitations and then that's what makes you creative is to have those limitations whereas like you know sony mm-hmm. and these other people are like oh let's let's see how far and wide and crazy we can make the graphics without yeah thinking, we'll, like, we'll what switch can we to do with them we'll switch to discs so we can have the biggest maps and the most and the most um, the most uh, individual hairs rendered and the most veins yeah. rendered and the bulging eyeballs of our space marine. You know, now that now that Tom said that, I really can't help but think that like really the thing that makes the most sense to me is that guys like Sony uh, and Microsoft, like obviously they're wrapped up deep in like the hardware game, so it's totally to their benefit to do things that like like to push technolo- technology forth so that they can sell more of that shit and like it, it makes sense to them to iterate in as small increments as possible to force people to buy it. So yeah, man, like this just to me now that I'm thinking about it, this really does seem like not criminal but just it's manipulation. Racket, of wait, wait, what did yeah, Miyamoto do to Paper Mario? Oh, uh, oh, dude! L- let it's me a tell nightmare. you. Let me <laughs> tell fucking tell, tell you. Him. Okay. I mean, I know, so, I know that the 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 thing with with Square and Mario fell through, and Mario RPG two became Paper Mario. I don't know anything no, else. No, besides oh, that, that. that was good though. That yeah. that was still in the good days. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Paper Mario one and two are basically masterpieces. They're the best games ever no made, probably, and they are better than any other game ever made. Uh, <laughs> and, okay. yeah. Makes sense. Um, um, and then Paper Mario Three comes out. It's like a weird, like side-scrolling thing. But that's fine. That I, wasn't. That I, wasn't... I, I, I like. I like. Yeah. Super I, Paper Mario. I, I, I was just it about was... to say. I, I like okay. it as well. It was different, but you know what? It was. It's still a fun game. Then uh, <laughs> everyone was, but but everyone at the time was like, it's not like the other Paper Mario. I want to be more. I remember then, that. I remember yeah. people saying that. Yeah, yeah. that was me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah. Um. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I would like that as well. Uh, and then Nintendo was like, well, um, okay, sure. Um, and then they were making, like, like, like some, like, early press releases. They were like, yeah, we're gonna make a, a standard Paper Mario game. It's gonna be sick. And then, uh, For the 3DS as well. Yes, yeah, coming out the 3DS, yeah, which we'll get into how uh, handheld consoles are objectively better than home consoles, I think. Yes, we will. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was Miyamoto himself, but some, someone said it was like, yeah, this is basically just gonna be the Thousand Year Door again, but, uh, you know, different and on the 3DS. And mm-hmm. uh, so I was like, okay. And then it comes out, and uh, it's basically unplayable. It's nothing like the other games. It's a game called Mario Sticker, Sticker Star. Star, and yeah. it is an. I played oh, that game. My it was parents a bought me that game, and I fucking hate it. 
It's, it's terrible. I played it for five minutes. You, it's you, the worst. You, it's are, the worst. you are literally incentivized to never fight a single enemy, or else you yeah. are at an yeah. immediate dis. Okay, he, like he, sounds here, like an Undertale like to me. Ayo, <laughs> hey, except that's yeah. Uh, so, Mario so, Sticker Star is truly the greatest Undertale of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ben, have you played any Mario RPGs whatsoever? Yeah, I played. Um, Me and I ben played Mario played the fucking OG. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I played yeah, the OG. Yeah. The OG one is like one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, okay. As it uh, should be. I'm assuming that that one's just like uh, like a later Mario and Luigi's. I actually, I actually haven't played it. Because no, like it's it's like extremely well, I, 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 old I, 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 school I, I, JRPG. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's, well, uh, yeah. okay. Well, uh, it, that's actually okay. the first game I ever played in my whole life. I think I was like two or three, and my grandma gave me the controller, and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Oh Your grandma God. was playing Mario RPG. Oh, my grandma's the one who got me into video games. My parents didn't. Oh give shit! Holy shit! My, when when when, when my when our parents saw me playing Mario RPG, my mom was really confused by the like turn-based battle system because like Mario would swing That's his hammer and it wouldn't actually hit the enemy; just damage would appear. And she <laughs> yeah. and she'd be like, "It's not even hitting him." And I'd be like, <laughs> "Mom, you don't Your understand." Your mom would oh, love Call of Duty oh. Five. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Visceral, <laughs> visceral military action. Ben, that's perfect. Ben, that's perfect. Okay, you swing your hammer. Imagine if your hammer had ammo, and once you were out of ammo for that hammer, you could not use it ever until you got more ammo. That's what every single attack in Sticker Star was like. So, Dude, I can't tell I you. See. All the bosses that I encountered in Sticker Star that I literally ran out of attack things that you could use to damage yeah. the enemy. Yeah. And you just have to lose and like go figure it out some other way, you piece of Well, yeah, it's shit. a resource management sim. It's deep and no, strategic. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. All right. Why would you ever get into a battle? Like, if you, if you can't ignore it's battles. It's an RPG. Okay, yeah. it's not an RPG, but it, it was supposed to be. It's an RPG. Well, I mean. It's a Paper Mario. Yeah, it was yeah. called Paper Mario. Yeah. It's, RPG, it's, it's a really piss game. Okay, everybody should, yeah, exactly. Everybody should go watch a Hyperbit Heroes yeah, yeah. video that he made recently about it. It's got all the details uh, on the shit. Not, not only that, but uh, yeah. again, where it slightly aesthetics impact the gameplay. Uh, in Paper mm -hmm. Mario 1 and 2, all, th this is the argument that everyone always brings up, and this happens in a lot of other ways just in this, but this is the, mm -hmm. you know, the classic example. The the Toads, the Toads in Mario, uh, like oh, Paper yeah. Mario 1 and 2 were all distinct. Yeah, you know, like, they did so much with the toe care design that I didn't, like, that is, like, way more than it's ever ever been used ever they gave Dude, they, them all they their built a world outfits. they built they built new worlds yeah. in Mar in paper mario 1 and 2 like like rich like final fantasy style worlds yeah. where you can go and adventure with towns and shit mm -hmm. and it was great all that's personality and richness and so they just much. stripped it they they thought nope this is terrible this is a waste of our fucking time no one wants this shit literally everyone wants it so God, so, it's, so, it's so they just sad. made they just made all the toads the exact same you know uh, red spots and then just the standard outfit just all of them maybe one of them has like sunglasses who gives a fuck and all the worlds are just you know new super mario bros uh wii they're all just fucking you know uh grass uh, desert whatever the fuck where in fucking paper mario 2 you go to like fucking like like a cortez pirate ship or like wrestlemania in the sky it's fucking sick the fucking the fucking glitz pit the yeah. fucking glitz pit the greatest level of any video game of all yeah. time okay you know what let's not spend too much more time on this we where, understand where you literally give birth in the middle of having a wrestling match yeah i remember i that. don't remember that <laughs> Okay, I yeah, don't remember good. that at all. Okay, they, they they also in a similar way they fucked up the uh, the Mario and Luigi series. Mario and Luigi Superstar oh, yeah. is a masterpiece, oh my God, one so of my favorite good. games of all time. Uh, and then I think the series has declined since God, then. But like the new one Christ. is just. I don't know. Who cares? The point is, it doesn't matter. Like they're they're fucking it up. It's just getting worse and worse. Uh, Paper Mario one through three is great. I'm gonna stand by that. Uh, are, is I mean, the third one the one that was on Wii? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I actually meant to too. say the, the I, one with like the fez, like change your yeah. change your d d camera angle, three D. Yeah, 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 that was really cool. Yeah, Th it was. That, that that statement I just said is true, but my brain was lying to my mouth. What I actually meant to say is that Mario and Luigi one through three is great, and uh, oh. fuck you. Oh really? Mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think one is one is a masterpiece, greatest game of all time. Two is good and then the rest are like eh, i don't care anymore okay wait, were those, right, were those on the gba let's move on enough about mario okay, luigi we're, 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 we're superstar saga on the gba superstar yeah. saga was on yes. the gba uh i think two and three okay, were on the regular DS, right yeah, yeah, yeah. The two and three I okay think i think DS. i guess that's why i only played the first one because i didn't get whatever wait, wait. shit the other one you got the best experience you got the best experience i didn't play the other ones either and i'm glad that my memory of the franchise has not been soured 
Uh, that's good. Fuck that's great. you, asshole. Right, okay, okay. What, story, story time, real quick, Nate. Um, uh, do you remember at Radcon two when me and mm. <laughs> when me and Davu just stayed up like all night talking about Mario and Luigi games, like right yeah. next in earshot of you while you were trying to sleep, and then like <laughs> I three remember. hours yeah. in, like three hours in, you were like, guys, I'm trying to sleep. Can we please continue this tomorrow? Yeah, I do remember that. I remember it very well. <laughs> I think I was more than than patient with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Munchie's best memory and Nate's worst. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great, all right, okay, we, uh, all right. We, we We've should, been faffing around a lot. Yeah. Let's get to the heart of our discussion here, all right? It's time to talk about the best consoles. Yeah, mm-hmm. old consoles are just, better, but which one is the best? That's yeah, which, one's the best. which one's the best? I can tell you the story um, of how the GBA mm-hmm. broke my heart. Okay, mm-hmm. go for it. I was seven years old. The GBA just came out, and I wanted it. And my, my dumbass dad said... Well, if you want it, why don't you just buy it yourself? <laughs> Excellent. Good like, point. <laughs> what kind of lesson is that to teach a seven-year-old? Like, am I supposed to go get a job? Am I supposed to learn about, like, individual responsibility? What are you... The same thing. My Saving Twice. what fucking money? I'm seven. Allowance? I don't know. I don't get allowance. <laughs> there, I don't know yeah. about you guys. I thought allowance was a myth that was on TV. Me too. Yeah, 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 me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 It's bullshit. But I it's eventually get one because my mom is not a prick. <laughs> and she gets me one. <laughs> and I got, I got the... Oh, Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Crystal, the the big old oh, see-through yes. cartridge. You can you can see the battery. It's beautiful, beautiful God, game. That <laughs> game is so fucking good. And I'm seven, and I don't know how anything works. It's my first Pokemon game, so I end the game with a like a level ninety for alligator. I beat Red. Oh, yeah. I remember specifically the four attacks of my for alligator were, and I I shit you not, I don't know how okay. this happened. Cut, slash, hmm. scratch. And hydro pump. Those are the four <laughs> packs. <I had>. Incredible. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's a that's were, top tier threat in the OU meta game. If ever there was. <laughs> you the girl? Were you the girl in the crystal? Yeah. Um, of course. Just wondering. Probably. I don't remember, but probably. Okay. Okay. Anyway, here's the hard break. We go on a trip, a family trip down mm-hmm. to uh, Arizona, and we take a, a plane ride. And I'm playing my Game Boy on the plane, and I think. Oh man, there's and on the seat in front of me. There's this little pouch that you can put stuff in. I want to put my oh, Game Boy no. in here. Oh no, I know where this is going. Yeah. And then we finally get to our destination. Uh, We're in the hotel, and I'm like, I'm gonna play some more. Po- uh oh. Oh fuck. Uh oh. Uh, Goodbye for alligator. Uh, oh. 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 No. I have. But I, I, I still some, love Game Boy. Yeah, yeah more I, like I, I need buy exact forever same story gator. as well. <laughs> Yeah. I have, I, I have, I have my like story that. that I may have told before of when I was running to catch a train. I think I was coming yeah. home from college. Yeah. And that I was had, in the money yeah. episode that inspired this, this very yeah, episode. There you go. Oh yeah, That's a well, tragic I'll, story, Ben. I'll, I'll recap it real quick. I was running for the yeah. train and I had my DS in my pocket with Nate, your copy of mm-hmm. uh, Zelda Four Swords, I think. And uh, uh, it was the Zelda, the the 3D one on the DS. I can't remember. Yeah, it was. Oh, but but yeah, and oh. and it just it just fucking. Ba- I was running to the train and it just bounced right out of my bag and just slid right <laughs> under, just fell right off the platform under the train and I'm just staring at it like it's right there and I can't get it. I just had to get on the train and sit on the seat and I just uh, like it's right there. It's like a couple feet below me, but there's no getting it now. Oh, uh, it's like it's like Ben's on the train to Auschwitz and he's just like, <laughs> he's like I just what can I do? I can't interfere in this. This is not my business. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> what is he the conductor? Oh <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but Ben in a train station in a hurry just feels so right to me. <laughs> it just oh feels my God. so right. It's not like the train was leaving early. Like yeah. he, it was on time. Ben's just late. It was it was well, it course. was it was leaving imminently. It was leaving in the, the next the minute lesson- or two. The lesson to take home from this is always make sure that you're on time, so you don't you're not running and you're bouncing your shit and every you got you and you don't and you don't lose away. your brother's copy of Zelda Four Swords <laughs> yes, or whatever it was. I think it was Phantom Hourglass. Oh, you yeah. know what? It was Phantom Hourglass. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Fact. Uh, all right. The DS Lite is the best console ever made. Okay, here we go. We're getting oh, into no, it. No. Tom, why do the you DS sign? Light. Because the DS can play Game play Boy Game games. Boy games. It, can, yeah. it can, but it's just, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah. How? How? Same. How? Everyone knows. It has a backlight, <laughs> you fucking retard. Okay. It's objectively you want... better. Munchie. So does the SP. Munchie, I can scientifically prove to you that GBA SP is a superior Game Boy Advance experience than the DS Lite. Do you want me to explain okay. to you how? The yeah. very, the very is, simple is reason 
is that oh there it is there it is <laughs> look don't is it don't the, give is me it a the hard er- on is in the middle the of the podcast ergonomic grip shape <laughs> no 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 the, the, the grip, reason yeah. that the SP is superior is because the the biggest problem I had with the DSLite because I had a GBA original had a GBA SP which I went through two and I tragically broke one that's a good story uh, mm. then I had the original DS then I got the PSP which was fucking gay and then I got yeah. the DS Lite. Sort of. And the one thing that I hated about the DS Lite that was never fixed is that the D-pad sucks. And the reason the D-pad oh. on the on the DS Lite mm, sucks He's right. is because it has terrible diagonals. If you try and play fighting games, which I played all the time, I played Street Fighter Alpha 3, played Street Fighter 2, played King of Fighters 2, Howl and Blood, you can't do quarter circles on the DS Lite pad because the diagonals suck. But the what perfect the D-pad ever made is the one on the GBASP because it's clicky and it's super tactile and responsive. It's the best D-pad ever made on God's Earth and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I I would hook it up to a PlayStation and play real fighting games with it because (laughs) it's so fucking good. (laughs) I I, I have an objective uh, counter argument to that exact one. Because the diagonals are actually perfect on the S and I know why. I know how. Because I used to play Bowser's Inside Story, my favorite fetish game ever made. (laughs) And I would only walk diagonally because I thought the sprites were cool. I would only do it. I would only walk diagonally because I thought it looked cool. The diagonals on the DS Lite work but you have to push and hold it down. If you're trying to do a quick quarter circle in a fighting game, they don't register i hate fighting games why would i play one? <laughs> oh, there you go because i'm not i'm not talking about what's better for fighting games I'm saying what's the what's the definitive gba experience and i'm saying okay. if you play fighting okay. games it's better to get an sp than a ds light ergo the argument that it can play ds or that it can play gba games is invalid because it can't play them well, all effectively tom just well, uh, just to be fair tom for me Every Game Boy I've ever had, the R and L button would f- like stop working. Yeah, yep, same. same. Same thing on the DS though. So that's that's My that's, that's, just, that's a Nintendo problem. Not, not I a- let me, okay. Let me just say the reason why the DS why can play I five to... generations of Pokemon, Tom. How many generations of Pokemon can you play on your fucking SP? <laughs> In, fire, in terms fire red of and leaf green the only ones that matter that's true that's all you need fire all right let me, let me make the business argument here okay here, here's why the sp wins in this one category it's because the sp was the first laptop i ever owned and i would do all my i would do all my business dealings on it. i would have my spreadsheets and i would organize i would flip it open on my lap and i'd be typing on it uh you know on an, on a high-powered business trip i was a fucking god of 80s Finance and business. <laughs> what are you um, talking dude, the about? SP was this is so... how I actually felt. I felt like a business dude, man. Dude, the SP was so Game fucking SP. cool. Like, you had the Game Boy Advance original, <laughs> and it felt like a toy. And then, like, yeah. you graduated the SP, and you felt like a man. Because it was su- it was such a much right, more it's... sophisticated design. It was sophisticated. And it's I, not that we have to give credit to the I, SP I, I just for being like... the first co- handheld console with a backlight. Dude, we do you know how much that saved we my have life? To. Yeah. Oh, my God. I it can't so believe important. it took them that long to back you know, like Jesus Christ. It's beca- and, it's beca- and you could plug it into the wall. No more fucking batteries. Oh my that god. That was so important. It saved my that wallet. It saved my eyes. It literally yes. is the closest thing that God ever made by human beings. <laughs> <genius. laughs> no, okay? it's up while, there. while it's we up should there. give it credit for being the first in those respective categories, going yeah. back to it now, the backlight sucks on the SP and the DS is way better. It, it has anyway. improved. That's true. I, I want to say that I st- on the subject of feeling powerful when you're when you're having your high-powered <laughs> laptop console, I, yeah. I still feel intense intimidated by my fucking 3ds it's like i feel like it's too oh, powerful yeah, yeah. for me like like i need to like like handle it with 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 velvet gloves like well, like like like, like, like it's a delicate button of an atomic bomb and i could fuck i could fuck things <laughs> up at any minute like i don't deserve I actually it agree I actually agree, Ben, and I, I think Nintendo sort of has tacitly admitted that in the way that they've made, like, the 2DS, and they're just like, yeah, we, the we original know, nobody 2DS gives a fuck. This thing is too advanced is for so me to be enjoying great. myself with. Yeah. I know everyone yeah. thinks it looks fucking stupid, but the original 2DS is so much more comfortable to hold. It, I believe you. It takes a beating and keeps on ticking, doesn't give a fucking shit. It is great, and I love it. I, I really mean, okay, so the recently DS, they came uh, out with... XL thing. I want to get that. Th- that's what I was just going to say. So, like, okay, now that it's been, like, fucking 20 years or whatever since, like, the <laughs> original course. DS came out, they have finally, or since the 3DS came out, it seems like they finally, like, with their very last iteration, which no one's going to buy because everyone already owns two different versions of it, there's, like, it's, it's you know, some weird collection of, of letters and numbers at the end, but it's, like, the 2DS XL Lite or, right, like, whatever yeah, it is. The it's, like, the biggest. XL or whatever. It's got two thumbsticks in it. It's got the huge screen. It's got... Uh, support for everything now that seems like the defense and it doesn't have that waste of space that was the 3d technology Agreed. nobody cares about that but that- it doesn't have what me and ben have and nobody else in the world has which is the capability of plugging it into your computer yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. look at donkey go fucking high rollers over here you're goddamn yeah. right 
<laughs> that is okay. You know what? I was gonna s- save this for later, but I, on that point, since you brought it up, Tom earlier sort of discounted the PSP. I do have to say though, from a from a sort of technical standpoint, the PSP has been the console that I have most sort I sh- of I should on the PSP, on. but honestly. It, like the games that came out on it were okay, but the fact that you could fucking mm-hmm. put custom firmware on there and do whatever the fuck you wanted exactly. was the exactly. fucking tits. The only thing that sucked is that Sony constantly tried to like fucking cock block you with that because every time you wanted to play the yeah. one good game, it's like oh, you're gonna upgrade new firmware. It's gonna break your fucking custom yeah, firmware. What do you want to do? It's All like, right, but the PSP also gave me the ability to watch porn on a console for the first time, <laughs> and I did that like a motherfucker. That was <laughs> in my, my 3DS. Right? Right? Oh, my God. It was fucking nuts. In my fucking bed with that shit. Holy shit, it was nuts. Uh, but also, just the PSP turned me into elite hacker man. Like, I became a genius thanks to owning a PSP. It, it was, it was from a technical perspective and what it could be done with it, it was super fucking cool. You, like, and for the first mention, time, you bought, uh-huh. like, a, like a, a four gig card and you just loaded games right on it and you didn't have yeah. to... Dick yeah. around with the discs anymore. You got rock hard. You felt like it a was fucking incredible. God. It was it was so empowering, and uh, it, it would be. Uh, I think the only point I want to make else about the PSP is that as like a longtime Sony guy, you know, playing like Kingdom Hearts and um, uh, you know all the Final Fantasy games that were on Sony shit, like. So there was a Kingdom Hearts game. I had to play it. Honestly, there were two games that matter for the PSP. There's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Not that I even liked that game, but I had to play it as a Kingdom Hearts guy. And there was Dissidia Final Fantasy, the most important game uh, in my entire life one, that my I friend. played more than anything another else. Another very important What's that? game on the PSP. That would be Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Peace Walker? Peace Walker, of course. I love fucking Peace Walker. You know what was great about Peace Walker? The bizarre fucked up control scheme on the PSP. And it oddly I fucking worked. Loved it. It worked. It did work. It Kojima worked. It found great. a way to make that single analog not suck. I was, it was very we, impressive. We, you people, you use the fucking, like, uh, uh, so, you know, you've got the D-pad on the left, on the right, you've got the buttons. Instead of the normal scheme, you use the buttons to, like, control the camera in first person or something like that. It was fucking bizarre. Uh, but, okay, that's all I want to say about the PSP. You know it's what? The I've always had a, a deep-seated hatred for the PSP. Because uh-huh. much like our friend Hippo, I'm a big fan of the Ratchet and Clank series, and I, I bought and oh, played every yes. game. And then they announced, hey guys, the next one, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, is a PSP I exclusive. And I said, I it. fuck you. Well, you see, where you cried like a little bitch, I instead <laughs> bought a PSP and played the game. My dad wanted me to buy game. all my own shit. It's not <laughs> my fault. Get a fucking job, monkey. monkey. Get a goddamn monkey. job. Let me, let me take 13. you. Fucking 13. Monkey, <laughs> when I was 10, in fourth grade, and Pokemon first came out, and all oh. of my goddamn friends had a Game Boy. I was like, Mom, please, can I have a fucking Game Boy? And she was like, no. And I'm like, please. Uh. And she's like, you can save up for one. I'm like, it's $100, and I'm 10. She's like, you better start saving. <laughs> yeah. So I go saving through the fuck. Saving what? A dude, I, Lunch I would, money? I don't I know. would find quarters. Don't eat for 100 I had days. a huge fucking cup full of like money I would do for chores, quarters that I found around the house, quarters I'd find on the street, and I saved up, I think, <laughs> 80 out of the 100. I couldn't even afford the Game Boy Color, so I'm just going to get a Game Boy Pocket because that was $20 cheaper. I'm like, I got to cut my losses here. So I save up the 80 fucking dollars, and by some fucking miracle, there was a mm-hmm. coupon that I found for like, I think it was Walmart that like you buy a Game Boy, you got one free game. It's like, oh, I don't have to save the $30 Whoa. for that. So I was like, all right, I'm going and I'm getting Pokemon. So I went I went to the store and my dad went with me. And my dad didn't know anything about games. So I gave him the money so he could buy it and shit. He bought the Game Boy Color no. instead, which was fucking sick. So I got the free upgrade. But then hey. oh, I, yeah, made, yes. I, made, cool. I made a critical error. And I was retarded oh, because oh no. I, was, I was 10 oh no. and I was stupid. Because I went and talked to the guy who was selling the games. And I said I wanted Pokemon for my free game. And he was like... Pokemon's really complicated. I don't think you'd enjoy that game. <gasps> oh, and he fuck talked, that guy. He talked me out of getting Pokemon, and it was the biggest mistake of my life because the game I got sucked. And then everyone, and then my friend let me borrow Pokemon, and it was the best thing I ever played in my goddamn life. And I was yeah. like, Mom, yeah. I need Pokemon. And she's like, <laughs> Save up. So I had to save up again to get Pokemon. Do you and then I did. What the shitty game was? Yeah, uh, was it was. It, it was Gex. Gex for Game Boy. Hey, all right, all right. <laughs> and it was it was pretty bad because uh, it all the, all the like humor that was from the PlayStation one gone, nothing in there. Uh, so oh. it fucking sucked. But um, 
So I got Pokemon. I became the best we kid in school. We should find out Pokemon. who that employee was. And uh, we should, like, actually I would, I would absolutely assassinate him without a second thought yeah. if I knew who he was. <laughs> Let's go yeah, do it. Who does that to a little kid saying, it no, was, you can't it play was, Pokemon? It was awful. So I, I got Pokemon Red. I fucking dominated. I was the best kid at school. Uh, <laughs> wrecked train. Uh, didn't. I, I was so committed to Game Boy and handheld gaming that when the Pokemon ban happened and they banned all the shit and they, they literally rounded up what? all our Game Boys and put them in the principal's office when this ban what happened. The fuck? And I was like, no. So I went to the principal's office, sat and they down. They wonder and, why people shoot up schools. And had a discussion <laughs> with the man for like half an hour through mm -hmm. all of recess and convinced him to let everyone have their Game Boys back. And for three weeks before someone else fucked it up hey. again, we all had our Game Boys and I was a hero. But Fucking the hero, he did Way it. to go, dude. The the the, the tragic end to my Pokemon experience was I I was I was working this entire time to get the whole Pokedex because of course that's what you do. And this was back when mm -hmm. I actually had mm -hmm. friends in real life, which is a phenomenon that has not since come <laughs> wow. back. Mm -hmm. So I could actually trade via link cable and get the the guys that weren't in the game that you had to trade for. Right, right. The only one I needed was Machamp, and it was it was the weekend. I was going to get it on Monday for my friend Mitchell, and so because he had the he had a game, I had a Machoke, and he needed Gengar, mm -hmm. so we're going to do the trade and train it back. It was fine. Uh, so we went to the movies. I don't remember what we're going to see, but I was playing my Game Boy, leveling up my level 96 uh, Venusaur, and this is before the Rare Candy Code, so I did that fucking like legit. To this day, I remember sure, leveling sure. up to 96 by killing a level two Pidgey because I never ran because running's for bitches. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so. I, I, I was just playing the game <laughs> on our way to the movie, and someone hits me, and I drop the Game Boy, oh, and it turns no. off, and then I turn the game, turn it back on. The Game Boy's fine, but the cartridge has been destroyed, and all of my no. files are gone. What do you mean someone hit you? Someone just came up to you and fucking beat the shit out of you? Dude... No, like someone just like the, they were exiting the movie. And they hit me, like they ran into me, and it flew oh. out of my hands, okay. and and it and it just the cartridge didn't survive the drop. God, they and fucking animated you. God damn it. Everything. It was the <laughs> fucking. At least now oh, we know why Jesus. Tom's depressed. Oh, dude, yeah. I, it's it's something yeah. you don't recover from. And seed. to this day, I've never gotten all 150 because I don't have friends anymore and I can't Fuck. trade. So it's it's yeah, it's, it's it's the worst. It's the worst fucking thing of all time. Um. And 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 Pokemon has never been the same since. A little a little bit well, of the my, good news, me died Tom, that day. The the good news is you don't need friends to complete the Pokedex anymore. You can do it uh, as a lone suicidal boy. So thank yeah, but God now for it's that. like eight hundred people, and it's like fucking. That's I don't, true. I don't want to well, catch eight hundred Sheep, Pokemon. Tom Sheep over has a Game Boy Color with Pokemon Blue. So if you want to come over here, we will fucking trade with you and get you your one fifty. Uh, <laughs> dude, I I would honestly make like a. If I'd sat down for a week and just like, all right, I'm doing it. I'm finally making it happen and just fucking did that, it'd be the greatest accomplishment of my life because it's a good idea. To, good to idea. this day, it's just once you move into the cargo van, and we'll do it. it I do. Yeah, that, that'll it'll dis dissipate the cloud of darkness that's been over you since that day, <laughs> since that tragic day. It's all day. it's all from that one day. But yeah, I mom, also dad, I don't need Prozac anymore. I got 150. <laughs> I got 150. I don't need 150 milligrams of Prozac. I have 150 Pokemon. <laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so of course everyone, Pokemon is like integral to to the yeah. the childhood, you know, uh, Super console important. experience. So did anybody play any of the older? Does anyone have any fond memories of the older consoles than that? Like Ben and I had a Super Nintendo. I, I had a Sega, that, Sega Genesis loved. was my first console, and the first game right. I ever played in my entire life was when I was in first grade, and we had like a mm -hmm. game day at school. Like you bring in games, you play. It's the end of the school year, right. and I brought in like shoots and ladders because I was young and retarded, and oh. my mm -hmm. and my friend brought in a Game Boy with Super Mario Land Two Six Golden Coins. So let me try. Oh, it. Blow and it. My life out. changed forever. It was like the big original Game Boy, and I was like, holy fucking shit, this is literally magic. I need mm. to kill you and take <laughs> this home with me. And ever since then, it took me three years to get the Game Boy finally, because ever since then, I wanted it, and it just, ah, uh, it was the worst. But, I, but it finally made it happen. Yeah. My, favorite, my favorite old school console is Magic the Gathering. Nate, me and you, Nate, me and you had we started we started young with the fucking um and the, the NES, NES, the NES. The NES. Mm -hmm. I remember when we got the NES. I think our uncle gave it to us. And, yes, uh, that's right. That's right. And I remember that I told I said it was the greatest day of my life, and I think I disturbed our parents by insisting that the day I got this fucking <laughs> game was the greatest day of my life. Our, our parents definitely had a weird cloud over their heads when, like, they did. We actually kind of fell out of video games for a while. But it was when I was given a Game Boy Pocket 
for Christmas, like, a year or two after that, that was when it all came tumbling. I'm sure my parents just, like, their hearts sank. Because <laughs> I had asked my parents to, to, like, buy me a new console back then. Like, hey, everyone's playing Game Boys. Can I have one? They were like, no, no, you don't need it. That's that's not for you. It's not good. But I mean, then I one of my fucking uncle, I think it was Uncle Jake, gave me a uh, Game Boy. And I, man, our poor <laughs> parents. Our poor parents, uh, yeah. I, the, the, yeah. I think, I think... I don't know about... I mean, I think I was, like, fucking obsessed. Like, all I ever mm-hmm. wanted to okay. do was play okay. video games, which I feel oh, like yeah. is probably why our my parents, parents developed, away my like, a, a bad feeling about I played it. too much. What That's I'd do is I'd get, up, I'd get up before school, I'd start playing Sonic 2, and then I'd leave the console mm-hmm. on all day, come home and just immediately pick up where uh, I left yeah. off. And eventually there's, like, you're too obsessed, we're taking it. I'm like, well, now I have literally no meaning to, like, being alive. And, <laughs> but then I got the Game Boy later, and, and I got an N64, and that was that was some good times. I yeah. remember one time I was like, it was late and I was playing, I was playing Donkey Kong Country 2 and I was like, mm-hmm. I fucking love this game. I want to, I would just want to keep playing it. And I think mom yep. was like, Ben, it's bedtime. You got to go to bed. And I was like, I want to stay, I want to play video games. And I think dad was mm-hmm. like, he was like, no, mom, listen, um, he, he's a big kid. He can do what he wants. Like if he wants to stay up all night and play this video game, let him, let, let him pull an all nighter. And I don't know if he was genuine. Whoa. I don't know if he was genuinely trying to do something nice or if he was trying or if he was playing some weird psychological manipulation games. But the way it was offered made me feel like, like guilty for like wanting it in the first place. So I was just like, no, never mind. I'll go to bed. <laughs> that's interesting but you know what that's kind of good like uh, uh, pe- parents do a lot of like babying of their parents but to like force you to make a decision like it's kind of making you mature and i guess so i don't know it seems like a good thing i guess i guess so. i mean if, if he's really like guilty if he says it like oh no it's not like your parents lives matter to you at all just do whatever you want <laughs> just no in, in, hi- no, in hindsight i think he was genuinely operate. giving me the choice yeah uh, well, that, you know what? Uh, I, I think that's good. I think that's kind of good. Like, okay. if you actually stay up and then you, like, are sh- having a terrible time the next day and you can just be there as the parent, like, well, you know, you stay up all maybe night. He, maybe he that, wanted dude. it to be a learning moment. I, I hope so. I want to say Wait, my first video game experience. Cause, cause, uh, uh, it, it, I, it, I hope that, Ben, I hope you apologize to Dad for not learning the lesson he attempted to teach you that <laughs> fateful day. I, so oh, I groveled. It, yes, good. It, it involves <laughs> everyone's favorite Wii Sports enthusiast, Rocky. Uh, my right, first yes. video game experience of all time. Okay, so so I walk into second grade, ballers, fuck, and ready to fuck up some bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah! As uh, as you do, and then I then and then I see like this like fucking kid from the back of the head, and, like everyone's like like crowd like crowded fucking around him, and and I, and I like 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 walk up behind him, and like he's he's like has like little like like TV screen, and he's like pressing buttons, and I see Lego Luke Skywalker just flipping the fuck around, just you know killing wow. some rancors and uh you know dismembering some <laughs> ethnic minorities, and then I, and then I like tap on my shoulder, I'm like guys guys what, what is this what's happening, and then he turns around to me and he smiles wisely. Ever heard of video games? <laughs> and, and, and it was from that moment that I knew that I had to play a video game. Nothing so he, will ever be the same. Yeah. So I invited me over to his house, and uh, he was like, uh, "Hey, dude, check this out. I just got, I just got this in the fucking, you know, I just got this in the mail. This is, this is the new shit. It's called Wii Sports, and I think I'm addicted. And uh, so, so he let me play Wii Sports. Munchie, are like, you twelve? Yeah, I, I, it, it, I, it is. Yeah. It is very entertaining to to reflect on how Munchie's experiences are all like vastly updated game consoles from like what we all got introduced to when we were yeah. kids. At least, I mean, you know, there's there's a degree of, of age here, but whatever. Go on, Munchie. Go on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I, I'm 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 a young boy. The the, the uh, and he was like, dude, mm-hmm. check this out. It's the Wii. If you like move your hand, the game moves. I was like, this is weird. Video games are weird. I guess is how <laughs> they always are. Video uh, video games are <laughs> in, in, intensive. Uh, but then he, like, he, like, let me, like, like, he had, like, two Game Boys because he was a rich fuck. He brought to school, like, his, like, normal Game Boy, and then, like, like, behind, like, a case in his fucking room, like, he would just, like, occasionally bring out for his, like, luxury, his luxury, <laughs> you know, gaming experiences. <laughs> he would have a Game Boy SP in mint condition that was yellow and had Pikachu's yeah. face on it, and he would only yeah. use that for playing Pokemon. And, and he would, he, like, let me play, like, maybe two God. minutes of Pokemon. God, just... Just the, yeah. the, the the extravagance. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he, he he like he like let me play um fucking like a, like a little bit of Pokemon. Red. The fucking decadence of that <laughs> fucking yeah. Game Boy yeah. SP is unheard like, of. The, the, did you know in our country? In our country, one uh, percent of the population has ninety nine percent of the Game Boys. <laughs> <laughs> 
so, so that was my that was that was that was my video game popping of the cherry, and I was like, I must have one. Right. So uh, so 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 I went home to my mom, and I was like, Mom, if you don't get me a Game Boy, I'll understand, but also frowny face. <laughs> uh, so please consider. And presented with such an ultimatum, she yeah. had but no choice. Yeah. She had no <laughs> option. And, and so she got me. She got me Game Boy SP, and these were the following games I had: Pokemon mm. Sapphire, Lego Star Wars uh, on Game Boy, the best game ever made, and also uh, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red. And Ooh. I, I, and I right. played those games all fucking day, constantly with. Without any, um, you know, uh, respite or relaxation, it was only my 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 sole nine to five was becoming a Pokemon god, not a Pokemon master, a Pokemon god, and uh, so I played it all the time. And when uh, and after school every day, I would just go to a Rocky's house and I would beat the shit out of him brawl because even though I I was just spun <laughs> mashing, he was shit, and I was just I would just down be his Kirby every single day of my life. And uh, it was you a great time. would be his Kirby. That's mm. undefeatable. Yeah, literally, Impressive. literally impossible to defeat. And and yeah, after I beat him every single time, he would like he would like 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 right before I like star arcade him, he would just like reset the match and be like that didn't that one didn't count. And then he would, like, <laughs> I was just <laughs> warming up. Bro. Yeah. I have fond memories of resetting brawl matches yeah. uh, at the moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like being yeah. fucking blasted away on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Did not fucking count. We're doing it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I always loved in, in Smash, like, you know that weird combination of buttons you have to push in order to reset yeah, yeah, the match? Yeah. You have to push like 10 fucking buttons at once. I always really liked that. That was fun. I, yeah, I loved it. it's like when you like, like, like you always know that moment. You always know that moment when you're like winning, and the other person's getting really fucking mad, and yeah, then like, yeah. like, like as soon as you like hit them, and you know that hit's about to kill, and they pause even before the match <laughs> yeah. actually ends. You know, oh shit, they're doing it, yeah. and then you hear that <laughs> all those fucking like ten no thousand contest. buttons. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. yeah. Fucking, and then it's over. No contest. It's objectively true. You guys are equal in skill. <laughs> yeah. There's no delta between these people. Yeah. Oh, thank you, announcer. Thank and, and you And then you that. would always smile wisely, and you, and you would know that, 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 that your sheer intellect has gone. As your hands hand shake with the, with the tremendous effort you had to put, press to push all those fucking buttons yeah. at once. As ever, your soul fucking leaves your body for the sheer effort of resetting that fucking game. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to play Smash anymore. That's their game. I'm not going to fight them. I'm I'm going to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> and it proceeds to unplug everyone else's controller. <laughs> of course, that madman. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, guys, we've been talking a lot of shit here. <laughs> Is it time what? to get down to brass tacks? It's time yeah. to get down to brass tacks. We've got to address at least a little bit. Uh, uh, stationary consoles, non-mobile. Oh, the superior. PlayStation Two oh, right. is the best console of all time. Is it? Is it just going to be the PS2? Are we all going to agree it's the I, PS2? I, I, the I'm, PS2 you know what? is From... objectively the best. Yeah. The PS2 Great. is probably the best. I'm. You know, I, I think. I think for me, I have a real soft spot for the Super Nintendo. I think my favorite yeah, childhood right. memories are with the Super Nintendo. So I don't know if anything mm -hmm. will ever top that for me. Fucking Mario RPG, Secret of Mana. The greatest, uh, the hey, greatest times. Hey, you hear about the remake? Hear about the 3D remake life. of Secret of what? Mana? That's coming. They're making Wait. a 3D remake of Secret of Mana. Oh God! Yep, just fucking just real. gag me. Just gag me. I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> we'll, see. I, we'll see. I'll report back. I, 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 we, should, we should mention this too briefly before we get into mm. that whole thing. What consoles okay. did you guys grow up with? Because I only had Nintendo. Con I only had a GameCube, a Wii, and then an SP, and then a DS. Well, well, the only well games we, I had. me and so me like and Nate, a year ago, me and Nate started with the NES, and we upgraded to Super Nintendo. But then, but then we diverged because Final Fantasy was on PlayStation, so we had to switch. We, so we so we switched we to being Sony Final boys. Final Fantasy path. Yeah, we yeah. followed Final Fantasy's trajectory through through every twist and turn that it took. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although there yeah. was a Wii I, at some point, we I did return to a Wii. I could get my hands That's on because most of the time I either had to give up a birthday slot for a console or I had to pay for oh, it with course. my own money. So. Uh, living, went, living birthday to birthday was how this it, how this that's, operation that's worked. That's how it worked. You, know? you had to, you had to you had to mm -hmm. plan it strategically. I have I have a great story mm -hmm. of one of my birthday when I got an Xbox for the first time because I was just like mm -hmm. me and my friends were getting big into Halo and Halo Two was just about to drop and okay so Halo Two came out. November 9th, 2004, and I remember this because my mm -hmm. birthday is November 8th. So on the 8th, I get the money to buy an Xbox. Oh, okay. So I go into GameStop. I'm like, I need an Xbox. He's like, getting ready for Halo 2. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. And the guy just looks at me. He like looks He looks around the store. There's nobody in the store except for me and him for some reason because it's a small game. So if he looks around the store, he's like, do you want to touch it? 
I'm like, <gasps> what? He's like, <laughs> and then he goes, he goes in, he, right? He goes to the back store, brings out a huge <laughs> stack of Halo 2 copies that are going to go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, and he just holds shit. it out. And I get to like hold it the day before it comes out. You and he's like, oh it. my God. <laughs> it's like, dude, you got to come back tomorrow cool and get guy. it. I'm like, ah, it was so fucking cool. But yeah, got, that was. Should have given him a hand job so you could have it early. Uh, you I was going to say, he was trying was, to get you back there. You know? you know, he he tried, but but he was close. But you know, <laughs> my 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 desire to to make sweet love to my new Xbox console was more powerful. Yeah. Than my desire to to, to please him sexually. So, you, you could you could have made it work. You could have made it work. That's all know, I'm saying. Yeah, it's true. I, just, I was young. A and relationship naive. is a two way street, Tom. It takes work. God I'm, damn it! I'm you sorry. have to work out of this. Oh, I had a date man. with yeah, Master Chief that night. Um, hey, uh, incidentally, my, my greatest gaming uh, triumph of all time was playing the greatest game of all time, Final Fantasy Dissidia, for PSP. Like, a full, like, it was like Christmas night or like Christmas Eve or something. I was at me and Ben's house, our, our family home, and I had just fucking created a Pandora's battery by sawing through my fucking battery pack for my PSP. Oh, I, dude, I, I, I remember I that hack. Shit. I was nuts. I had all my shit laid out. I was a fucking wizard. I was I was running a thousand bots and fucking uh, Linux and all kinds of crap. I have Gimp no idea what you're day. talking about. You, you it doesn't matter. Seven the, the point tabs is, of Gimp open at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I was in high level hacker mode. Uh, so the the point I'm trying to get to is just that I I there was a it was a, a release of the ISO for Dissidia like seven days before it went live in Japan. In Japan, not even in America. It took like another year for it to come out here. And I was fucking playing it. On Christmas Eve, a snow fell around. And I was literally Littlefinger looking out at the world. And I'm like, <laughs> I just made you my fucking bitch. Dude, I run was, this shit. That was I control shit. this was world. Getting, was getting PSP ISOs before they came out in America. Like I remember playing like the Bleach yeah. game that came out like two years before it even got like adapted yeah, in yep. America. Like that was some mm-hmm, cool mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Oh, it was great. Yes. And then w- eventually, once I got into the uh, the the DS, like, uh, what do you call it? Ace card? Uh, just like yeah, the, the I had R4 one for GBA cards, and for DS. It was so fucking oh, for GBA legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, those were fantastic. Oh, I felt, God, again, that like was the best. And playing, like, Metal Slug and, like, all these games are harder to find. I could never – yeah. I always wanted to play Yigd Reunion for GBA. And it was, like, a turn-based sure, RPG okay. with, like, this super fucking sick art style. But <laughs> it never worked on my card, and I was always pissed. To this day, I still haven't played it. I should buy it. Mm-hmm. Someday. See experience. that that's kind of the point that I'm getting to right now. So the greatest ga- great, the greatest console ever made is I'm going to go with the DS Lite just because it's my hey, favorite DS, yo. and it has it has everything to do with the fucking hacking scene. Oh, dude, did so you, like did you play as soon Quake as I got One the cards, on DS? I, I did not. I don't. Think oh, so. dude, that was some... they, they remade the original Quake for PC on DS with mouse aiming with like the touchscreen, ah. and it had multi oh, wireless shit. multiplayer. It was the coolest fucking wireless shit. Wireless multiplayer? Holy dude, shit! It was okay, awesome. That's awesome. The reason it was so cool is because uh, we had this kid who was like two years older than us that go, went to our school. I think his name was Paul uh-huh. Gibbler or something, and he was like a super hacker man. So he put Quake on all the PCs Sick. for like two years, oh, yeah. Quake all the time, and no one knew how to stop it. Then oh, eventually yes. they hired someone to get rid of it, and like the exact same time, <laughs> Quake came out on <laughs> DS. So we're like, "Fuck you! We're still playing Quake <laughs> anyway, oh, that's, bitch." That's perfect. And it was I either that or Mario Kart school. DS in the middle of class, and they couldn't stop you because they're just wireless now, so it wasn't link cables. Oh man, it was so there cool. Were... <laughs> There were some heroes at my school who installed Civilization on like every computer they could <laughs> hey. get their hands on. Oh my so God. we would like everyone to be playing Civilization in like library class or whatever the fuck it was. But yeah, I mean, I I uh, the hacking thing, PSP stuff got me into the scene. But it was the DS. Like the library of the DS is incredible. It's so, so many good. incredible games, and the fact that you have access to the um, to like the GBA library once they expanded that capability, and you could run those too. Yeah. Oh, it was the fucking best. Did I, you I have... still I have it right here. I have it right here. And I play that shit all the time. I still have my DS. Games. It's sitting right over there too. Did you have the, it's um, the greatest? I got I got the the flash card that I had. It had uh, mm-hmm. the card itself, and then it had a GBA slot too, so you could play GBA ROMs off the DS slot. It just like did a pass through, and then it was flush to the system because you know how with Mine the did light, not have that. Yeah, with the light, mm-hmm. the games, the GBA games stuck out because it made it smaller. But this one right. it was yeah, flush, yeah. like the regular just like filler cart they put in by oh, default. Oh, I see. But it still ran mm-hmm. all the GBA games, so I had like both of them going at the same time, and I was a fucking god. That's dope. It was super That's fucking dope. cool. But I, I mean, the whole thing is like I'm I'm sitting here like like preaching like the gospel of GBA. But, but like, it's like, mm-hmm. there's like a fraction of a percent between GBA, PS2, and DS. They're all like, like so fucking yeah, like unstoppable yeah. in their own, in their own class. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. ah, it's hard to pick. But you know, like, GBA definitely was like the one that I had like the most fond memories of. Cause it's like, 
I don't know. I think it's because like that was when I had the most money and time for games. So I had tons of mm-hmm. GBA games, mm-hmm. and and I just like I played them constantly in class. Like I made play. I loved Metroid Fusion. That was the first Metroid I'd ever played, and I had no idea. what Oh, to expect. me too. I fucking love that dude, game. Dude, it's incredible. Like, it's so fr- good. It was because like I played Nintendo games. I These wasn't fucking Inten- Super Metroid people shit on fucking Metroid well, Fusion. Here's, Metroid here's, Fusion is better than Super dude, Metroid. Dude, Metroid damn Fusion you. is the best Metroid. Because like it's a crafted narrative experience. All right, thank this you. Open Nobody understands that. It's a crafted that. experience. To this day, yes. I'm waiting for fucking Metroid Dread to come out and keep that fucking storyline going. <laughs> I still yes. am holding out. Yes, Dude, we need Did it. you see? Did you see? And uh, the new Metroid coming out, Metroid Samus Returns for 3DS. Yep, right. When mm-hmm, you beat it. Mm-hmm. With the, if you you beat it and you put you get the, the uh, fusion suit you, you get, get the, the fusion, fusion suit, suit. yeah I it's that still shit. there I'm, it, it's it, f- oh, dread is coming me. I'm not I'm, there's hope <laughs> there's still hope oh it's still I gonna really be so hope. fucking dope you know gonna, I I just well on that subject I heard that like so some guy who know like the director of that game whatever said like yeah guys just so you know future Metroid games being developed depends on the sales of this uh this like 2D Metroid oh I'm gonna buy here, like so three of them just, then. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. The first yeah. time oh, my friend showed me Zero Suit Samus and Brawl, I got an uncontrollable sadness oh. in my heart knowing that Sadness? I thought you were going to say an uncontrollable boner. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say boner because that's how I felt. Uh, yeah. I, well, I got a sadness because I that was the first time I was ever In Brawl, uh, when you can like freeze frame uh, and zoom in yeah. on shit, you better believe yeah. I played okay, a lot of and Samus. Let me just say. All right, uh, uh, the the fucking in brawl in brawl, you had the you could pause and move the camera. So Peach? so I, I'm sure we're all Peach? familiar with Peach's uh, yes. forward tilt, yeah. her forward fucking <laughs> tilt. I think we all know what I'm talking about. And mm-hmm. they they fucking black hold her panties in the yeah. new one. It's a disgrace. <laughs> I hate this fucking. God damn it! It makes me so fucking <laughs> mad. How could they do that? Like, okay, the fact of the matter is, kids. Uh, and, and, and parents at home, like, sex is real. It is real. Women are real. You can't just, like, pretend that it's not there. And, like, how are kids supposed to fucking find out that sex is real if you just, like, put black holes over vaginas you, everywhere? They just have how, that's how, actually how, how does up. blacking out a pair of panties make kids think that sex isn't real? Where, where are I, you getting this? Oh, you know where I'm getting it from. Uh, okay, I'm saying that's the attitude that these people are approaching these kind of decisions from. It's like they want to just block out uh, the whole concept of, like, even a vagina from the minds of children. I, I guess in, male children. In this but fucking the rated penis, E for everyone versa. game, pan- yeah. uh, Peach's panties should be the main focus and should be the only thing she's fucking I mean, wearing. And I mean, if they it should be that there, right, right? They're, they're, they're denying real. human urges. She origins. wears a dress, goddammit. Let's not, let's not run from the fact that where you win a dress and you do a badass high kick, you're showing everyone your panties. That's I, real I, life. I agree. I agree. But I, I, I agree that it shouldn't have been censored, but not on the grounds that we need more sex in our video games, but I'm on the grounds that it should not be censored. That I don't think a pair that seeing panties should be inherently <laughs> sexual. Okay, but but it's it's the, the idea that like they're replaced with this black hole, like like they're they're covering it up, you know, like they're ashamed of it. And yeah. I just I'm like why why you know fucking deal with like uh couldn't uh, they just add more ruffles or something? Couldn't they just add more ruffles underneath I, there? That's a more creative solution that I would be more in favor of. I I, I probably wouldn't love it, but it's, it's better. <laughs> and and the, like Palutena, like you can just see Palutena's panties because like her dress doesn't really allow to make like a black what, so hole. So it's okay it's way. okay for her, but not for Peach. What the fuck? Oh, it, it, it's okay for fucking uh what's his name Sakurai? Yeah, yes, Sakurai's, Sakurai's waifu not, Palutena yeah, yeah. gets to show her panties to everybody, but Peach doesn't. That's bullshit. Do you like um, how Sakurai that is fucking bullshit. waifu has has yeah. like a stripper taunt? You like that? Yeah, she literally has a stripper pole taunt. Okay, fucking Sakurai, get the fuck out. You're done, <laughs> son. You're you're all wrapped up. Uh oh, but okay, nobody has mentioned I really I did want to give a strong shout out to the PS1. The fucking PS1 yeah. that the made PS1 me was yeah, the, the only console I ever the, got for free, no strings attached, and it was the greatest the, day. The, the PS2, yeah. the PS2 is only objectively the best because it's riding on the backs of the, on the back of the PS1. Yeah, because you exactly can play right. PS1 games on it. All my favorite yeah. games are on the PS1. Yeah, there you go, there you go. And uh, the PS2 uh, only wins the by revolution default. of the disc. The disc in the PS1 was a big fucking deal, you know, and it, it should be celebrated as such. It, it opened and the up concept the doors of the memory cards, which I love. Memory cards yep. were dope. Um, and come on, we all know. The, okay, let's just let's just address I this know right what now. You're about the to aesthetic. Say. It's yes. the aesthetic of popping between discs in the PS One is like the most enjoyable experience of any fucking game console. It felt like you got there way more game it. for your money, even though it, it it's questionable yeah, if that's even sure. true. Like like when I got the first game I got for my PS One was Final Fantasy Nine, and when it was four discs sure. long, I felt like a fucking I know, guy. I'm I know. Like, there is so much here. <laughs> How am I ever going to get through all of this? It was the best feeling of all time to have like four discs <sighs> all at Isn't once. Isn't it great? 
Isn't it great the Square Enix, uh, instead they make the base game and then they basically sell you the other three discs uh, as like DLC wanna, packs I later? I love modern video games, I just games, wanted to, everybody. can I just point okay. out, I commented right. on this on that video this morning, but I was like, I, yeah, I, I yeah. the comment I just said was, uh, I, I, I forgot that Metal Gear Solid 2 was actually Metal Gear Solid 3, because remember, MGS1 came oh, on yeah, two yeah. discs. That was great. Hey. That's a brilliant point on my on my new video. Yeah, <laughs> you killed it, dude. <laughs> uh, it just it's so, so you people know what the fuck we're talking about. I made a video about like people are actually making a claim that the Final Fantasy VII remake because Square Enix has said they're splitting it into individual parts that are like individual game experiences. These are their words. Because of that, it's the same as Final Fantasy Original because it had three <laughs> discs. Like this is a real. Watch my video. It's yeah, it's, yeah, the, it's the most infuriating it's thing infuriating. in the world. Um. Yeah, so the fuck yeah, PS One. Uh, I think I might honestly give it to the PS One as my favorite okay. console. Okay. I think of all time. I think the PS Two is like honestly, the best. Con- but it's the got best Final Fantasy con- Seven, Eight, and Nine. How can you argue with that lineup? It's Dude, it's and it like Final Fantasy Legend of Dragoon, Chrono Cross. Don't like, say the Chrono PS2. Cross was so fucking good. <laughs> Chrono Cross, sure. Yeah. Dude, I love uh, Chrono else? Cross. Uh, it had it had that awesome remake of Chrono Trigger too. That's yeah. You're absolutely. That was in the Final Fantasy collection. Yeah, Final, Final Fantasy anthology, Final Fantasy, whatever it yeah, Final was. Fantasy anthology. It had four, and it had uh, Chrono Trigger in it. I just, I just emulated this very morning before this. Uh, the the Ghost in the Shell PS One game, which has some of the best fucking animation. It it is the manga of Ghost in the Shell come to life. Like I've it literally never, never that, has actually. in any other medium. It's actually super fun. Really? Loved it. Really liked it. That's yeah, it was really cool. fun. PS Two has the best game incredible. of all time. What's Thrillville. That? <laughs> Everybody loves Thrillville. It's super fun. Uh, PlayStation, oh. PlayStation. If only one. there was a. If only there was a Let's Player that I loved, who was who was like doing <laughs> videos about Thrillville right now. Well, he's drunk off his ass and doesn't remember yeah. what happened. He <laughs> hasn't even watched him back. He just uploads them and sees what happens. I'm sorry, Ben. I, I Play, PlayStation One had Vandal Hearts and Vanguard Bandits. Two Vanguard ter- Bandits. Two two pretty terrible games that I nevertheless no, loved no. immensely. To be free, how much anguish Anger will you have? have to bear so in hand swear on the dead vengeance is soon to come oh still one of the greatest I openings of love, any video I game fucking ever fucking love vanguard bandits just give me some vanguard bandits yeah. and some lincoln park and just let me go back <laughs> just let me go back to the good old days of 15 year old me uh oh. the good the good times <laughs> okay uh, uh any yeah, go on, Munch. I, what do you say? I, uh, the, uh, I, I haven't had much to say about this, because the only games I ever played on the DS, uh, or, or sorry, the mm-hmm, PS, mm-hmm. PS2, were my cousin's games, so I just, you know, walked over to his house, uh, well, you know, every once in a while, and he would, like, uh, everyone would go to sleep, and he was like, you want to see what a real video game is? And he would <laughs> pop in, like, like Grand Theft Auto or Lego Star Wars. <laughs> oh, some shit. Some of the most seediest games of all time. And yeah. I was like... I was so paranoid about that yeah. shit. Like, I remember yeah. I had I had a copy of uh, the original Grand Theft Auto for PS1, mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. the first M-rated game I ever snuck into the house. My oh, parents shit. were like, fuck that shit. And I was so paranoid. I actually, like, took the, the manual out of the game case. I cut out a T rating from an ad from an electronic <laughs> oh! and pasted it onto the front so no yeah. one could tell that it was oh rated God, M dude. and it just just in case I happened to leave it out no one would be the wiser Nate, it was, it was... think it with your head Nate, with your do, head. I might be misremembering this but didn't our dad like take a, a, a yeah. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas from you let me let me tell you the tale and weren't yeah, you like I, I was just, an adult I was... <laughs> I I want to say I was literally eighteen. I think at this time. Okay, but the idea was I was in his house. You know, I, no, you know what? No, I wasn't eighteen. I, I was I was like sixteen. This was in high school. Sometimes. Uh, okay, maybe you were like maybe years. I think maybe you were like sixteen, and he said, "I'll give it yeah. back to you when you're eighteen, and then just never did. Well, to be fair, I never called the question when I was eighteen. But when I was in my twenties, you know, my my early twenties. God, I'm in twenty seven now. Oh God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what the fuck is I just, I totally lost my train of thought because I want to die. San Andreas. Oh, right. When I was 20 something, like he finally gave it back. He was just like looking through his sock drawer and I was like, hey, Nate, I found this. And- Didn't I steal this from you? Here you go. <laughs> and and why, hey, you know what? why did he take yeah, it yeah. from you? Why, what was his reasoning that he gave? Okay, I, I honestly think that the real reason that he did it was because I think we had had a conversation about how he doesn't want those sorts of video games in his house, and then, like, I just did it without, like, checking with him. Like, he just, he walked in on me playing it sometime, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm sure all this contributed to my deep 
uh, just like hatred of having other people around when I play video games. Mm-hmm. It freaks me the fuck out. I have to do it in secrecy. It's like <laughs> it's like a secret eater. Only I'm a secret game player. No one can witness my my sin. Dude, uh, dude, I also, feel the same way. I feel like vaguely embarrassed yeah, yeah. whenever anyone knows I'm playing video games. It's like, oh yeah, no, it's our dad. the our shame. Dad, you fucked us up. You fucked us up, Dad. <laughs> uh, oh, but I did want to give my dad credit because one day I brought home uh, Devil May Cry One. And I was really excited to play because I thought it was really cool. And I was like, oh, no, is dad going to be okay with this? But what I did was I said, dad, I got this game, Devil May Cry 1. I was hoping that you could just like, you know, I don't want to do the shit I did with San Andreas. Could you just, you know, is this cool with you? He's like, all right, Nate, tell you what, let me play it and I'll get back to you. And I was like, well, okay. And I was a little worried because it's kind of a violent game. Anyway, I, I came back after a little while. He said, Nate, I played this. It's kind of fun. Uh, it seems, seems fine. Seems appropriate. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> Go for it. Weird. So, our dad Fuck played yeah. some Devil May Cry 1, had a little fun. That game and was is like, fucking great. It is a great game. Absolutely fantastic. That was my first PS2 I game. can I cannot Definitely. imagine dad playing Devil May Cry. That is, like, the weirdest <laughs> yeah, thing I yeah. can ever <laughs> even conceive of. I, it is a bit weird. You know, one time, Ben, just, to, uh, to Watching fuck, Dante to get fucking fuck stabbed you. by, by what's-her-face in the first cutscene. Yeah. He's just like, this seems appropriate. Yeah, hey, holy so shit. What the What the fuck? I don't know, man. I, I guess he, he just thought it wasn't that. Se- I honestly think it was more of the fact that he felt like like I had gone behind his back and like betrayed him in some okay. way. So because yeah. he had like forbid it or something. So I, I get that. But uh, remember Ben when Dad came up to us and was like, "Hey guys, uh, I so you've got Grand Theft? No, it wasn't Grand Theft. I see so you've got uh, uh, GTA. Th- no, fuck, it's not GTA. Grand Turismo. That's the word I'm looking for. You've got Grand Turismo for your PlayStation. I like cars. Uh, would you mind if I played that sometime? You know, I, I'm not gonna like kick you off or anything. And Ben was like, no. This is our <laughs> game console. You're not allowed to that, play our video games. That, Defend yourself, Ben. That is Defend not yourself. okay. I don't. That's okay, how it I went remember down, that happening, know. but I remember that me and Dad were like, we were like in the midst of an art. Like there was some shit going well, down okay. that made that me mad at him about that. And I f- <laughs> and and yeah, I remember he. I, I sort of remember that happening. If Dad had just come up to me in good faith and been like, "Hey, you've got a video game I'd like to play," of course I would have fucking let him. But it wasn't yeah. that simple. It, we were, it, there was there was some fucking context to it that I don't remember. But yeah, I remember getting mad at him. I remember getting no. I think I got mad at him because like he went and like played it like he played it without asking or something. I don't know. I like I don't true. think he came up and asked me. I think he he just like told me that he had gone and like played like my, like our PS2 because we bought it. Like he had played yeah, on our did. PS2 without without and I was mad about that. I guess I sort of get that. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I don't. I don't remember the typical full story. Ben hiding behind the the defensive context like a fucking <laughs> coward. Oh, it's we Ben saying context matters. Oh, ben instead context of context matters, matters saying. <laughs> so, is the result of this podcast that the DS Lite is the best handheld and the PS2 is the best I, console? I, I think so. Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. I want to mention Super that Nintendo's the best console. We all agree, of course. Did you did make sh- wanted to make sure that I mentioned he he is with me on GBA being best console? That's true. <laughs> Digi would have been here, I think, to say that he's a GBA guy for life. So, hey, oh, hippos guy. listening. What does Hippo say? Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. I, I, I also want to not, throw not, in that, that um, I don't. I never really got into handhelds. I never really enjoyed handheld gaming as much as uh, the rest of y'all seem to. It just he, just felt. He, it just felt like such an ephemeral experience I'm in just, comparison I'm just to such like a crack addict. It's I the, couldn't. Okay. My my weird thing is that like when I got into a franchise, I had to have it on me constantly. So if there was like a handheld and, version of something I played on PS2, I had to have it just so I could have it on me at all times, like a fucking like comfort item. It was really weird. And, and honestly, you know, I think that shame about people seeing me play video games might be why, because playing video games in public mm-hmm. feels wrong and bad to me. All oh, right, Ben, yeah, you got, you know, listen to me. Listen to me on this point. This is the, this is the real deal. All right, here. Oh, by the way, uh, Gibbs says that he loves the DS, but he thinks he's leaning towards GBA himself. So yes! he's, he's on the Another fence there. Another ally in the fight. Sounds like he's leaning towards GBA. Okay, but here's the deal, Ben, about handheld consoles. Every I, I don't actually play handheld consoles like out in the world. Even back in the day, I, you know, I'd play Pokemon stuff, but that wasn't the main joy of it. The main joy of it was being maximizing my comfiness yes, when I played. This that's is, what it's paramount. all about. So fucking, and that's like, why the SB changed the game because I could plug it in. I would plug uh, it in. I would sit in my bed, put a bunch of pillows behind me. I could lean yep. back in 100% maximum comfort, have the backlight on, and just play literally this, forever. This is, this is like important beyond words. Being that's, able to just, and like, I'm telling you, you can, the console experience cannot compare to the handheld in this kind of situation. Either that, or, or I'm just way too poor to afford like a god tier chair that would that would 
come close who's to gonna, the level who's of got, comfort. Everyone's got a bed. Not everybody has a fancy chair. You know, the bed experience. But like, even when I had sufficient. like a semi decent chair, like like my mm-hmm. sh- my shoulders eventually get tired. Sit like because you're you're and you got to look like, down and like crane your neck down and like lean forward and shit. Even if you have like a good chair, I've got a great chair that I'm sitting in right now. And I'm telling you, I much prefer. I, you, you can get tucked in your fucking blankets, in your PJs, in your bed. Have a fucking cup of tea if you want. It's the maximum comfy experience. It's the best experience, which is why I haven't mentioned till now because i wanted to bring the hammer down because there is an additional console that bridges this fucking in, uh, mm-hmm. interdimensional gap between mm-hmm. the console and the handheld it's the switch the fucking switch mm-hmm. is the greatest console ever fucking made it doesn't have Ooh. enough games yet it doesn't have enough games yet but in terms of comfort i've got it right here i just pick it up it charges all the time i pick it up it's got this huge screen the the buttons are tactile and great it's got all the yeah the, the nate let me know when the I switch want. gets fucking thrillville then come calling <laughs> <laughs> I will. I listen. I played. I played uh, Zelda on it, which was good. Then I played Shovel Knight, it, which I rebought and have beaten that game basically 100. percent That game was fucking great to replay on the Switch. I'm playing Sonic Mania right now. It's fantastic on this thing. I play it in my bed, comfy as fuck. You can't beat it. <laughs> this is where this is where the future of the human race is going. In the direction of comfiness in bed with the fucking Switch. At the, at the end of this podcast, Nate will get a knock on his door, and Shigeru uh, Miyamoto will be there draped <laughs> in a black Kingdom Hearts cloak, and he will shadily <laughs> hand him an envelope full yeah. of money. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my yeah. opinion on the subject. The, o- <laughs> <laughs> I hate opinions. <laughs> the only two video game consoles you should ever own is the mm-hmm. PC and the latest Nintendo console and then of course the DS Lite just Okay, but uh, on that, that on that point, can we just say fuck you Nintendo for like being so exclusive with their shit? And protect yeah. like like what is their defense for not just being uh, like on board with the PC? It's just so they can get more sales. So they can push hardware, you know, so yeah, they can absolutely. have their stuff. Well, oh my God, we've we've butter. completely neglected we've completely neglected to discuss the PC's viability as a gaming console, which I will swear by. I don't need oh, any. That is, that I don't understand this, why consoles still exist. If anyone exists. if anyone is is ignoring PC for modern consoles, I think you're retarded because a modern console yeah, is just yeah. a PC worse. Like, there's yeah. no reason not to. And, and not to mention, the the PC is basically better at old games, too, because you can fucking emulate anything in the world. Exactly. So it's yeah. got literally everything. The, you can't beat it. It's it's incredible, reason, and it just blows everything else out of the water for me. The, yeah. the only yep. reason to even have, like, the handheld part is just because, because I just don't feel right when I'm playing Pokemon on, like, the computer. I just don't feel like I want to have that experience of, like, having See, that's, to be on a tiny that's screen the thing. and having to that's bring the, it around. That's the one yeah. deal right there. Like, that's why I prefer playing on my Switch versus mm-hmm. on my my fucking computer because i can't fucking get comfy in my bed and play my fucking computer but i can on my switch which is why All the right. switch is like the only device i need to spot, i'm gonna, like, I'm gonna bring up one of the best like the best like mm-hmm. marriage of this that you've probably never heard of because it just came okay. out a little while ago it's called is it the like G- a steam box or whatever have you, have you heard of the gpd win no. No. no no so it is it is a a pc that is the size of a 3ds <gasps> that runs like old games and shit because it just runs yeah, windows so yeah. anything you can emulate on a pc that's like not like super graphically demanding you can just run right on this it has like dual analog and face buttons and little keyboard built in holy and, christ and, and it just you just it, that's, you that's just the run dream whatever right you want on it and it's it's fucking it's pretty legit I, I will say that uh, as I've, I've I've grown up with mostly PC after you know doing the whole uh, handheld Nintendo phase, I should also briefly mention uh, just before I get into that is that I also did this like slipped my mind. Uh, I also did have an Xbox 360 and a PS1. However, the PS1 okay. uh, I, my mom got me for by accident thinking that, uh, I, I wanted to get a PS2 for my cousin had it. She got me a PS1 and she got me Rayman and I just could not get past the literal first jump and I cried and that was also the first time. I discovered that I don't like the way bologna tastes after thinking that I liked bologna for a really long time. It was a traumatic oh, no. experience. And then I was just like, I don't want this anymore. And then I, I think I like threw it away or maybe like I gave it to someone uh, and I just didn't like it. And also for the 360, the literal only game I played was the <laughs> Simpsons game and Lego Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> you and your fucking Lego Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's the sound a mini kick uh, makes when you pick it up. <laughs> It's By the Simpsons game, game do you mean Simpsons Road Rage? No, I mean the Simpsons game. The Simpsons... That's the 3D one, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, right, right. That's yeah. Can't you play as like literally every character in that yeah. or something? Yeah. Uh, well, you can play yeah. as all the main uh, family, and then it has like a fucking like weird like meta narrative like Homestuck plot, and it's great. Uh, oh, incredible. Okay. Yeah. The Simpsons it, Road it, Rage I, is amazing. It, yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it is. I also played that on the PS2. Uh, anyway, uh, so fucking 
back to what I was saying about PC. Uh, just to like like a comment again on why Nintendo, like I, I want Nintendo to go home to PC because if Splatoon allowed me yes. to play with a mouse and keyboard, it would literally be my favorite game of all time. Splatoon is so fucking great. I Spl- fucking God, love Splatoon. Splatoon, it's Spl- the, the fact that Splatoon lacks local multiplayer is like the saddest thing. It's a, it's a travesty. Mm-hmm. It's a travesty but for sure. That, that's all to say that keyboard and mouse is probably like my favorite like way to play a video game, other than of course you know the handheld. DS People get so fucking high and mighty about game pads. I fucking love keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I will play any game on a right. keyboard because it's, it's, it's the right just tool for the... the right job. There are certain games that will play way better with mouse and keyboard, and there's certain some, games that play better with some game games. Pads. Some I, games, I'd like N sixty four games, don't really work that well with the keyboard. But like, like no. f- almost anything else, like anything well, I, I, that isn't I, I, joystick I, dependent. Yeah, I beat yeah. Hollow Knight just the other day, uh, and I, I basically hundred percented it. And um, like, I, 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 at first I was playing on the keyboard. And it was okay, but then as soon as I plug in my PS4 and I get my input map or shit and I, I get it run on there, like that's just how it's meant to be played, you know. I think that's... I think my best accomplishment ever with the keyboard mm-hmm. control was when I was in college. I didn't have a 360, and Devil May Cry 4 came out. And oh it was, shit! It was. <laughs> I, I literally I had this shitty laptop, so I played uh-huh. Devil May Cry 4 on Jesus. my laptop at 640 by 480 resolution and it wouldn't yeah. stretch so i played on a little five inch square 640 by 480 <laughs> on my laptop screen with keyboard and beat the whole game and i felt like a god because Holy it's shit. so fucking hard <laughs> but uh, i played with wasd and like four other buttons and beat the entire game of devil may cry 4 and i was just like yep incredible i'm the best incredible. person who ever lived <laughs> if your video game has shooting or aiming in it do not and put it on a console, any console. It has to be on a PC. The other I day, I I went to a fucking I went to a friend's house and he had fucking Overwatch, disgusting, on his fucking uh, PlayStation <laughs> board. I can't imagine playing and, it on, on game. And I yeah, tried neither, neither. to play with a gamepad, and it was the worst experience yeah, of my like, entire even fucking right life. now. Like I love Halo, like Halo One and Halo Two. I have such good memories of that playing that on an Xbox. But I'm playing right now SPV Three, which is like mm-hmm. a, a fan made remake of Halo One on it's pc nice. yeah and it's so much better with mouse and keyboard like yeah, like yeah. worlds better it, you just cannot do first person shooters or you know third person it, you cannot do any of that on a gamepad it just does not have the precision that you need to play those yeah. games yeah. it just does right. not fucking work it's literally horrible i have no idea how it's lasted this long you have to play a first person shooter look it's or, all know, the fucking on a pc they've, they've you ruined have everything to. they ruin games yeah. they ruin control inputs it's before, but think about it, before like like the end of the PS2 and like Xbox Live and shit, all the shooters like were on PC only, like Counter Strike and fucking all that shit. That was where the shooters were. Then fucking Halo 2 came along and normiized fucking online shooting, and now we have this fucking huge scene where like analog is what they build these games for. Christ. So even when you get them on PC, they have like aim assist and stuff that you have to go in and disable. Oh yeah. yeah. To to take it to the to the meta point on on that, like this idea of like making games to like include the most people or like to make it playable for enough people like like just the idea of putting a, i don't know fucking call of duty on a console as opposed to pc and just like casually it down like you're you're not making the tightest best possible game you can make in that pace in that in that way you're no. just making one that like more people can buy and uh don't care for it can can don't i say i just does that call of duty is like my not even I don't mm-hmm. even like dislike Call of Duty playing it. Like it's fun, like mindless kind of pop. It's like watching a popcorn sure. movie, but a game version. Yeah. I enjoy it. When but I what play I found it. really mm-hmm. fucking disgusting is just like how like how blatantly corporate that series is now. That when like the PS4 right, came right. out and it started selling better, they immediately switched sides from Xbox to PS4. It's like, oh, there's a bigger ah, install base yeah. now, so now they're gonna get the timed exclusives, and it's just like gross disgusting. you know You're you know worst. i'm with you and you know what else fucking pisses me off sports games that come out once a year oh, like who my the God. fuck does anyone buy these fucking yes my, cousin, my, my old do. My roommate cousin. cob yes. he what buys fuck? every fucking madden why? game why explain <laughs> that to me i i try to ask him and he says oh but they update it with the new characters just fucking download just it the old just one fucking download it yeah, characters you yeah. want the new because like, every like, year you have like a new the players or whatever yeah 
Yeah. Oh, that's such a like, great excuse to like. What does it milk need? Like, how is the it game doesn't. any different or better with it's like not? You have to understand because you can pretend that you're your favorite fucking six right. foot four bag on the TV. That's, that's, that's the, the whole yeah. thing. It's like people who play those games are into like sports in general, so like they right. want it to right. mirror what they're watching on TV at the time, and that's how I they make ten billion dollars. I don't get it. At and why all. can't that be downloadable content for like a dollar? Why do you need a new sixty dollar game? I mean, because EA. This is what EA does. They just want to milk the market as hard as. I mean, EA, they way. bought they bought exclusive licenses to, to all those, like, actual exactly. characters. That's yeah. why, like, you know, yeah. uh, NFL 2K, you know, like, Sega had their 2K line that was going on for a while. Like, they mm -hmm. bought the rights to using the NFL, EA did. So, like, Sega's like, well, I guess we can't make these games anymore. And they just stopped. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they fucking monopolized that sh shit. It's fucking gross. Fucking, um, by the way, I, I, EA is probably, from what I hear, one of the worst game companies. But I can't be too hard on them, because yeah. every single day I would open up my Xbox 360, which which I also sold later when I realized I, I was done with the Simpsons game. But every single time I would open it up for the Simpsons game, it would go, EA, it's in the game. Yeah. Like, EA Fuck, Sports, yes. it's in the it's game. In the game. <laughs> I, Dude, like, I remember, I remember yes, that I'm from... I'm going to see the funny Homer Simpson. <laughs> I, I, I remember that from. I remember that there was a sports game I really loved. It was Blades of Steel on the NES. Yeah, the hockey game yeah. it was the shit. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, that was. A I like. I like. Uh, you, you could. You could fucking fight. You could have there. You could. You could get into a little. A little like sparring match between yeah. players, and you would have to like time your button presses or some shit, <laughs> and like fucking punch each other to incredible. to win. And that was like that was the only part of the game that was actually worth playing. But it was yeah. so worth it. Tom was Blitz the one where like you break somebody's bones and you can see the X-ray of it. Um, I think they made another one later that did that. I was or that might have been like. That might have been uh, NFL The League might have been the mm, one that mm, was called. Mm. I forget. But the, the NFL Blitz was like, it was like an arcade. It was made by Midway. It was like an arcade version of football. So, like, the downs were, like, 30 yards instead of 10. And, like, you could throw, like, a fucking, like, Whoa. halfway across the map and shit. It was, like, <laughs> cool. super arcadey. It was like NBA Jam. It's not a football. map. It's a fucking stage. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's they're both appropriate. They're fine. It's a board. It's a board, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Clear okay. that board, uh, uh, Tom Brady. I'm sorry. All, I'm, I'm all a, my I'm, gaming terms came from my friend Devin, who played Counter Strike 1.6 religiously. So everything's a map because I just that's all I've ever heard growing up. Sure. Yeah. Fucking I... D Dust Two I, all day, every day. Hey, I love that. Okay, uh, I I want to present a nightmare scenario for you people that will okay. leave you like you know shaken up and uh, crying oh at God. night. Imagine <laughs> you were forced to play a video game. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on, on, no. On what okay. controller do you use? Game Pong all the way from GameCube. Pass the controller, bro. Uh, a giant spider corpse with PS2, PS2 DualShock. I th I, my favorite yeah, controller is still the Xbox 360 controller. I like the offset dual analog. I have big hands, so when I play on mm -hmm. PS2 with dual analog, my thumbs always hit each other. So, uh, yeah, I definitely go for the, the the classic PlayStation dual analog PS2 style. Okay, uh, I need. I like that's what I use to play Pokemon. Better. Like in all my Nuzlocks, I plug in my PS2 controller into my computer and play it that on there. That seems way more. I, I use my I use my PS4 just because it connects easier for some yeah. reason. But yeah, it works just fine. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've been talking forever, and I figure we we'll probably have to move on to questions at some point. But I figure we could close we this out with something. We've been arguing about what's the best console, what's the worst console shit. But can we all agree that the worst console is your smartphone? Like playing uh, games on yes. that is yes, is by far can. the worst thing of all time. Like there are some decent games that are designed for touchscreen. Are like, you f uh, Magikarp Jump is the fucking pinnacle <laughs> of modern gaming? And I will look, swear look, by it. You're not, the day you're, not, I look, die. you're not letting me finish my point. Like anyone, like the Game Loft games where it's like you have the, the analog sticks on the screen and cover up half of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that it's is a nightmare. literally the I, most retarded dude, thing. I've How never, do they think they can? That's acceptable. I've it's never tried to play such a game. It sounds horrifying. It's the worst. It is. It's the worst thing ever. The re the official remake of the Simpsons arcade game. I used to play all the time. I wanted to desperately play yeah. the arcade game, but I couldn't because I only because I was a little baby. I oh said I could God, only yes. play it on my on, on my fucking smartphone. It was the worst of my life because the buttons were just Sonic on the screen on and it was just like that was overlay. A yeah, the overlay yeah, was just it's, it's, on it's top the of the graphics, and I just could not see half yeah. the I tried. Screen. I tried, like, an emulator or something on my phone, but that's how it worked. Like, th this is, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. It doesn't... It's, if I can speak up in favor of it... They didn't even have the it, funny colors. I, I, em <laughs> I emulate Game Boy Advance on my phone, and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, it's perfect Yeah, those for that. work fine. 
it's a game game boy color works really well too because like yeah mm-hmm. this the it's a square screen so it sits at the top and the buttons are under it and it right. feels that's just fine. like that's yeah, it's fine. perfect so if yeah, you're playing yeah. like dragon quest 3 or dragon quest monsters or pokemon like that's fine playing no, RPGs, I'll also say totally good. i i hate uh, i i have tried that too and i hate like the the way that you have you know using the buttons on a touch screen like they're way less tactile and like enjoyable to use than if you oh, had it yeah. on like you know a controller and shit so it's worse in that way for sure yeah. i think that's the definition of not being tactile in fact I yeah. think you're correct. Mm-hmm. correct. Which is why uh, I think it only works for like a turn-based thing like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. Right. Like yeah, if I try to play Mega Man Battle Yu-Gi-Oh Network, for it phones would is suck. actually really fucking fun. I don't know if you play that game at all, Mom Gay. They made I one haven't. specifically for phones. They like they stripped it down a little bit. Your your decks like uh, 30 cards instead of 40 or mm-hmm. max at 60, and there's only three rows instead of five rows, so like matches go really <laughs> fast. But it's super fun. Can I get Marshmallow and Lava Golem? That's all I need. Uh, I have no idea because they they start they basically started at like the first couple sets and they're adding it as it goes on. So they're kind of like ramping up the 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 meta of the game as mm. it goes. I haven't played it in months, so they probably have like way more sets now, and I probably suck. But that was really fun. Good way to play you on the go. My favorite mobile game is Grubhub. It has really good game <laughs> yeah. deal, and I think that it's, it, that's it, good. It has a lot of things to offer. Isn't that the, the thing that you just get food with? Yeah. Well, no, it's uh, well, yeah. It, but, I mean, know. it's a great game. Of, well, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's it, like a virtual <sighs> sim of you ordering food. I, no, I, I hate I, I hate I hate Grubhub. Grubhub has unethical game design. It has that fuck. <laughs> it has that Skinner box that addiction. Its loop. aesthetics the, the mi- do not fit its gameplay whatsoever. <laughs> <I really laughs> the, mi- the microtransactions on Grubhub are just <laughs> ridiculous. What's just your favorite ridiculous. map on Grubhub? My oh, house. A, a, a dust <laughs> tube by by far. <laughs> it, 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 for, for me, it's either it's either uh, it's either dust two or pizza. Hut. Those are my two oh, favorite wait. maps. In the entire my game. my favorite uh, Grubhub map is uh, it's Blood Gulch, which is what I call the path from my table to my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got some questions on Patreon. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's let's check them. All right, everybody, we're switching over. We're going to the Patreon. Remember, people, if you want to get your questions fast tracked, go. Because a patron and then you'll be in the chat and you can ask uh, your questions when we fucking ask for them how many every times Saturday. have i just started to say the donkey kong country theme song this like this podcast and then just stop after hey yo look at donkey <laughs> I didn't kong know that's what that was. <laughs> i didn't know that's what that was also uh, uh yeah and the the url people uh the pro no patreon.com slash the procrastinators that's the one okay all right what do we got what do we got what food have you eaten the most out throughout your entire life? Anything related to car- uh, carnivorism or meat? I, I eat meat by far the most, but that's a category, so I guess, I don't know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. steaks chicken nuggets. probably? It's just Candies. chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I eat well, 20 chicken nuggets a day every day of my life. Well, Is that uh, true? That, that, that it, comes it's, into it's been important... true ever since I moved to North Carolina. <laughs> that, 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 this comes into an important definition, because if you order 20 chicken nuggets, but then you also order one steak, technically you're going to be eating more chicken nuggets than just that steak, even though you get the same amount of like actual food in you. So by that logic, you would of course get more chicken nuggets, even if you just eat the normal amount of like an order of by, chicken nuggets. By that logic, the food I've eaten the most of is nerds, because every time I eat nerds, I eat like 50,000 <laughs> yeah, of them yeah, in a go. Yeah. That's true. That's true. They're gaming the system. Good? They're all right, I guess. Pretty, yeah, like, the know, other day, I was curious. I highly, re- I highly recommend going to Dairy Queen and handing them a box of nerds and saying, make me a blizzard, but put these in it instead. Do they do oh, that for shit. you? Yeah. One, one time I got them to do it for me. It was wow. sick. <laughs> I was curious yeah, to could. see if the candy That's I liked good. as a kid was still good, and I bought an Airhead and I bought a Ring Pop, and I had to throw them away because they were just disgusting. Oh my uh, fucking god. Hmm. This is the most important thing I will okay. ever ask any of you. This will be the last time I ever speak to any of you. I'm going to leave okay. after this question. <laughs> Do you, okay, do, do any of you live near, like, a mining town or any sort of, like, old, like, frontier-esque cowboy uh, situation? Do any of you? <laughs> Definitely uh, yes. not. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let me paint you a rich tapestry of my daily life uh, on the range, as they say. So, uh, it, I live next to, like, an old mining town. And whenever I would go there, there would always be, like, you know, some, like, tourist fucking, like, gift shop. And in such a gift shop, there would be the most magical food I've ever encountered in my entire life. It would be hmm. in the candy section, and it would be just this sack, this like old timey like 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 cartoon sack, and it looked like you know like like with the money like the money symbol on it. But it would say gold, like pure gold, and you would buy it for like maybe like 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 for like two dollars, and you would open it up, and there would be bits and pieces of yellow gum that they were shaped like gold nuggets, and you would just pour that entire Whoa. bag of bits into your fucking mouth and chew it all like the fucking <laughs> slut you are, and you would drown yourself in that delicious fucking. I think I've actually gold. seen. 
these before, but I've never tried them. You have to live in a mining town to get this candy? I, I think so. But, well, that is until <laughs> that is until the other day when I realized they're going fucking corporate on my ass, going fucking EA Sports Call of Duty on me. They're switching <laughs> consoles. And, and I walk into a fucking I walk into a fucking Blix art supplies and I see what do I see? Hubba Bubba bits and pizzas losing all the gold <laughs> that all the mind sound is sick. Yeah. <laughs> all all the mind stick which made the gold good in the fucking first place. Now there's bits and pieces of various types of bubblegum. Fucking disgusting. I'm not gonna say this is Hubba Bubba. I'm gonna protest you every single time your CEO, John Hubba, walks down to fucking Hubba. I'm, I'm gonna drown him in fucking. I'm, I'm gonna like melt John down Hubba and gum. his manservant Bubba. Yeah. 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 Right. How'd he get his name on the company? Ah, uh, you know, he really a does a good job. He really, he <laughs> really so. trusts he's it. Dedicated. He's like a trusted advisor. No, uh, no, uh, no, no relation. No relation. Just, just a happy no. coincidence. Why would they be related? Because their names rhyme. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty racist. Uh, um, so anyway, fuck you, Hubba Bubba. I'll never forgive you. I think we for, answered like, the question. Injustice. What do we got next? Yeah. Hey, uh, I've got one here. Um, this is I, I'm reading. Also, people where we also read some questions from the uh, from the Twitter with hashtag Ask PCP. Uh, so here's a question for uh, it's sort of direct to you, Munchie, but really anybody could contribute oh, this. Uh, at Ascan Two asks, uh, can one of you say something really yeah. fuck? Funny. <laughs> One no. day I went and looked at my pet, and I said, "Oh, I must you be barking and jumping." <laughs> and he looked at me and he gave me a wink. Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh! No, he's uh, gonna disobey me once more. Oh, was that was that was that really? That was pretty fun? fucking funny. Yeah. It was, um, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I can get another one. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. At Suicide Sausage asks. Uh, oh, this one's directed to me, but anyone could comment on it. Um, Nate. I'm trying to be nice, but people are assholes. What do I do? I know, who's got some wisdom for this guy? Kill what them. What does he do? Kill them. That's one way to go. Kill Any yourself. other suggestions? Yeah, the problem. Your, pro your problem is that you were know. trying to be nice. That's why people are assholes. They can smell that weakness. That's true. You got That's you got to cut you got to cut them before they cut you. Got, you you've got to hashtag chat it up, my dude. You got to chad it <laughs> up. Chaz it up. You have to oh, realize yeah, that by standing true. for something, you inherently stand against something else as well, and those people will come for you. So you have to tell them to fuck off. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, I guess just uh, don't be a pussy. All right, there you go. That's the advice. <laughs> Someone asked a retard question. Uh, okay. Who's the strongest person? A fusion of monkey. Hey, read their and name. Munchie? They they just have credit. Yeah, read their. their oh, name. oh, sorry, sorry. Orca on in the PCP Patreon Lounge. Okay. Who what was the question the again? If you person, too would like to be called retarded, go pledge a dollar. To the PCP <laughs> Patreon. Who's the strongest? So, okay. this, this is important, monkey. Who is the person that like if me and you fuse together? Who's the strongest person we could be? Anybody. Mm. You're yeah, already yeah. the most powerful being in the universe, so like yeah. I don't even know why I, I'm involved in that. Uh, That's uh, true. Uh, uh, you just make him is... weaker, don't you think? Because yeah, I would yeah, just yeah, bring yeah. him down. He, he would, I'd he make him try to kill have himself. suicidal tendencies. <laughs> right. Exactly. And, and the, the if once see... he dies, the whole world dies. Mm -hmm. the, the, the way I see it, it it's a lot it's it's a lot like like you know autocracy versus order you know like like yin and yang and sort of like uh like like like, like you know honor versus love and stuff like that so if right. we fuse together like like <laughs> all all of my inhibitors that like lessen my power and you know like I, I try and you know I, I try and remain honor bound by not having sex and you know right uh, uh, yeah. you know, and all I do virtues. is have sex so we'll balance yeah, 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 exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing sort of like munchie is like the Eva unit one and then if I fuse yeah. it with with munchie like the the armor that actually holds within the creature back <laughs> from destroying the whole world would come bursting forth and yeah it would be uh mm -hmm. it would be the end times for uh, sure <laughs> i i think we need to come up with a list first of all i want to say any sort of scientist uh, immediately gone off like like immediately like snapping my i don't fingers. want to talk to a scientist y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed, pissed i don't want to exactly. hear about that we mm -hmm. get rid of mm -hmm. them for their sins uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> first one to go because oh, he's black. Yeah, right. Not, not of because course. of any other reasons. Not because you know he's an asshole. Literally, just because he's black. That's my because that's he's my black. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's uh, a pop he's the only black person anyway. I can think of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, that, that's the end of our list. Hey, okay, here's a question good. on Twitter from at Commander Incest. Sounds like my mm. kind of guy. He says, if you were to make a Frankenstein monster out of the PCP members, what parts would you use and why? 
You have to use my iron cock. You'd, that would you'd, be, ha- you'd uh, have the to foundation. use my. You'd have to use my heart. My heart would have give us a strong moral cocks. center to remain powerful in this world. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh, good. Oh, oh, so we've got oh, the God. cock and the heart. Whose brain do we use in this? We got to use Mage's brain, otherwise it's gonna be all fucked. Or else we'll be misogynists. Yeah, we right. need mages, females, no, superior No matter brain. what, they have to use my lungs. My lungs have to be involved so they can That's true. powerful So they can they clip need. the microphone with every breath. Yeah. <laughs> this right, beam will be up. more powerful than anything else I've ever made it's in my life! It's gotta, have, it's gotta have hippo's hair. Yeah. yeah. Hippo's it's gotta hair, have right. my funny bone so that nobody thinks it's funny. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, well, let's just give it Tom's skeletal structure in general, so that we're tall and intimidating yeah, against the world. You know, tall. that sounds good. It could finally be used for something productive. Like <laughs> the best thing you can think of about Tom is that he's tall. Is, is skeletal? I mean, well, I'm physically, not, you know, that's fantastic. Over here, <laughs> <laughs> we could also take his uh, his hat. You know, his brony curious hat. <laughs> no God, that'll no. be that's, it's a we never, we never talk Nate, about in, that. in addition to your ironclad <laughs> cock, can we add yeah. on Digi's phimosis foreskin? <laughs> of course, I, I, I insist. <laughs> oh, I that's insist the only part. That's the only part, the part for part. Digi. We take is his foreskin. <laughs> well, that's what he would want us to take. That's what they should have taken know. when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been looking for an excuse to get rid of it, and this flesh golem is the perfect reason. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, incredible, God, this, this incredible. Patron one, this, um, this, this batch of patrons are, are not are not doing it for me. Yeah, we need we need to cycle them out and get some new one in. Head on over <laughs> <Yeah>. to <laughs> patreon.com slash procrastinators. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Hey, okay, here, here's a separate question. Uh, at Smith Corban, or Corbin, whatever, asks, uh, what did you dream about last night? Does anyone remember their dream from last night? I never fucking remember my dreams, and it pisses me off, which is why I want to read this. Does anyone remember... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, don't. I remember. It, it was actually about arm retrieval. Uh, my my favorite okay. podcast of all time. Go to arm uh, Well, that I, sounds I, more like a nightmare than a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, okay. it, I, I was recording arm retrieval, and then Roxy Long walked to my room, and I was like, Oh, hey. that's a per- That's the best dream. Yeah. Have sex with me, Roxy. I love you. Uh, okay, go on. And, and, and then I was like, I was reread. I was I was rereading Act Six today, Roxy. I don't. You 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 didn't live up to what I, I remember. I, I don't. I don't know if you're my favorite character. You're one of my favorite characters anymore. I think you need to leave my household. And I don't what? think you're welcome here anymore. And then uh, and then I and then I shoot her away. And and that was that was the end of my dream. It was, it was a nightmare. You're out of the PCP. <laughs> <laughs> you don't disrespect Roxy even in dream form. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. What I if dream- that was like actually real Roxy? Because you were in the dream bubble and you bumped into actual oh Roxy in your God. fucking dream bubble. Oh, the sex could be real for me. Oh, it could be real if it was in a dream. That makes it, that's how it works. That's that's how it works in Homestuck, technically, mm-hmm. I, or yeah. something. Uh, what do we got? Hey, okay, uh, Munchie, this one's for you. I'm sure. Oh, I, I don't know great. if anyone else. Uh, at Leo J Larkin asks, if you had to pick a pre 19th century military to serve in, which would you choose and why? Uh, I love this question. I love. This when question. did the Nazis just, like, start? Just... <laughs> a little bit <laughs> after that, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, a while after that. Um, uh, I, I would, would just... want to be a Persian slave soldier for sure, because that's just the most powerful aesthetic that there is. S- somewhat similarly, <laughs> I, I I would go on I would go on jihads all the time. I would be an Ottoman Empire fucking you know. That's not I, a bad choice. I, I would be one of those I would be one of those Christians that um like like uh-huh. like they they just like stole from one of their puppet states and they just like like they're like okay you're our slave like now. Constantine and then, or something. One yeah, of those yeah, guys. Yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah yeah. And then but remember you're a ju- soldier. You're not the emperor. You're a soldier in the military in this example. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just going to. Oh wait, did it say command? No no no. I well, I mean, you could you, you let's say you could put in command if you want, but you're still a soldier. He just yeah, has yeah, to, yeah. to serve in. Uh-huh. So yeah, I, I would just be like a fucking janissary, and I just ride around on my cool ass fucking uh, horse and just beat the shit out of any uh, <laughs> unruly people. Wine, you know, I, I would just force my will upon uh, like uh, my whim upon uh, everyone who I meet. No sex. You can only play handheld video game consoles, <laughs> and uh, mouse and keyboard is the preferred method of gaming. <laughs> and and then if they didn't if they didn't accept, they would be a dead. That's good. Hey, I-, I think we've answered this question before, but someone posted an image that I'm going to retweet because it's extremely adorable, and it just says "bug fuck." We did answer that before, didn't we? I think Most we came definitely. down resounded. That's yes. well, well tread territory by this. <laughs> yeah. One. Okay. All right. Just, just. I, okay. Well, good. Uh, that's I, that's all the decent questions. Everything else is terrible. Oh, you guys thank should be God. ashamed of yourselves. Everybody else. Uh, yeah. Get, get fucked, everybody. Uh, all right. Thanks for listening, everybody. That's it. We're all done. All uh, right. 
Everybody one go in the to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Because guess what, people? The Death Note episode is out right oh, now. Oh. The bonus episode, it's out. We're, we're, we, go, we go deep. We're rolling in the deep like Adele, I, our favorite YouTube creator. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a whole new world out there. So go pledge $5 I, to get access really to that and every other bonus episode. I think you're really going to like my interpretation of Death Note. So please, so please pledge so you can, so you can it's, see it's it. Worth, uh, your interpretation is definitely worth $5. So if you're not mm-hmm. giving us There's $5 no already... You, there's nothing better you can spend it on this month than Munchie's Death Note. Damn sure. right. Damn right. And uh, send us more questions. Uh, you know, you, you also, when you're a patron, you get access to the patron lounge. You get your questions read. We and actually talk you, there a lot. We, do, we actually we do. do talk there a lot. You can hang out with us. And you can go to at uh, TP Crastinators and follow us. Or for updates and shit, or just fucking tweet us every Saturday when we tweet out. We're, using, uh, we're looking for questions. Hashtag AskPCP. There you go. And, That's and you the can, deal. You can go to YouTube.com uh, forward slash C forward slash TBVAP for epic coin <laughs> reviews. <laughs> uh, you know, in, 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 case, in, case, in case you're harking for that. Uh, for era. all the real up to date. That, yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. the Procrastinator secondary channel. Yeah. You know? uh, Pretty much. It's, it's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We will see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.